and a little bit might have slipped out. A very little bit, like a drop or two. Maybe a drop or two on the sheets? Yeah. And I went up and looked at my door. This is like 3.30 in the morning. And there was no one out there, of course. I realized my body just did that to wake me up. Oh. I heard the doorbell and I woke up. But that was not the doorbell. That was the piss alarm. It was a piss alarm. Wow. Yeah. The piss alarm went off last night. Yeah. Good for you. So that's got, and that got you excited? <laughs> no, I just, oh. uh, I'm thinking about the, uh, I'm just going over my day yesterday. I, I didn't have much happen at all. I did have a plumber come and uh, to just do a cut, like snake a sink. Yeah. And pl- it's crazy how plumbers are very comfortable touching things I would never be comfortable touching. It's their day to day. The guy came in and uh, again, you're right, it's his job. And he picks up the uh, the stopper. And he's just looking at it, you know, touching it. Like, I would never touch the stopper in somebody's sink. Mm-hmm. He, and the to- no gloves or anything? No. Wow. Uh, and the toilet seat was up. And I was asking him about that something in it. And he, like, leans on it and his hand is on it. Like, that's where your butt goes. <laughs> no, no, this is the underside, even the oh. worst side. Oh, that's where the splashback goes. Yeah. But uh, he just, he's like, nah, and he's just talking. He just nothing phased this guy. Did he have, like, a little bottle of Purell or something? No. Oof. No, but I mean, you see, yeah, I mean, I could probably handle that in gloves, maybe, oh. if I did it all day, every day. But without gloves, that's nuts. Yeah. Wow. Well, know. respect to him. Whew, yeah. Like, it makes me, and when they blast out a sink, like when they, when they go, they use an air gun to blast out the sink, uh, the little, they put a towel over the uh, area, like with that, you know, the little, the, uh, flood hole or whatever the fuck it's called that stops your sink from flooding. Sure. The drain. Oh, yeah, yeah. The shit shoots out of there. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, man. Is it dirty? Wasn't that bad, but it was definitely needed it. Yeah. Like, that's not a little toothpaste. Like, I guess my sink was, I guess, cleaner than some sinks are. Like, you think he goes and has like lunch after that? Like he picks dude. up a, picks up a sloppy Joe. I don't know. Licking how. his fingers. I'm sure he washes his hands. I mean, um, but he wasn't just skeeved about it in the moment. Like for him, it was just, I guess it's so common in that right, job. Right, the job. And plus, you, you can put gloves on, but then you got to touch your equipment and then you got to touch your foot. I guess after a while, you're just like, this is the job. It is. Yeah, I mean, if you were skeeved out by sinks, I feel like plumbing would not be the trade of choice. Yeah, some people are just, don't have that, like obsessive thing with their hands where they're like crazy yeah. about it, but I couldn't do. It. I, I was in awe. That's because you're a you're not a working man. You're a soft handed wimp boy. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I, I one time Robert Shaw yelled at me and told me that my hands were. I had city hands, and I said, "For what?" He said, "For counting money." <laughs> That's like, right. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I just I, I'm in awe of plumbers. Like the, the what a, to, to the ability to do that day in and day out. Yeah. In in grosser situations with bugs and oh. Yeah, exterminators. Dude, going under somebody. But exterminators, even, not as bad because you have poison and you're there to kill them. Like, you have to touch mm, a lot of gross shit. Yeah, and, and you have to fucking, you have a stick. For, I bought one of those. And, uh, you know, you spray bugs. You kill bugs. That's what you're there for. You punch them. Oh, yeah, I have done that a few You've times. you punched bugs. So, yeah, death. that would be a good statement. I should have boxing gloves. <laughs> But this guy literally will have to go under a sink and yeah. like adjust something where roaches come out of a sink. Like, oh yeah, and he's not even there. He's just leaving the roaches. He's like, good news, the pipes work. You got ro- well, a ton of roaches under there, but that's not my thing. Only he hates bugs. I hate bugs. Oh really? Yeah, like what a crazy job if you hate bugs. Yeah, because he's probably got to encounter them. That's yeah, like any of those jobs where you have to go in people's houses. Yeah. You probably just encounter so much grossness. So many people have gross houses. Yeah, really gross houses, and the I, again just having to touch things. Like I didn't, I never would have thought of that. But the I, underside of a toilet seat—that's that's disgusting. But he wasn't touch. He was just like showing me something on it, like why he couldn't he couldn't fix it. Cause I had to call the manufacturer. But he was like, yeah, this thing here does that, and um, but just casual. Like I couldn't. Yeah, it's my toilet. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, you also probably get used to it after a while. Your threshold of what's gross has to change over time if this is what you do all day, every day. Yeah, it's like, I'm sure he gets grossed out by like, you know, if there was like a, a fucking bowl full of logs. Yeah, like he's like a Charlie Rose's plumber. 
probably has a different experience than yeah. your plumber. Yeah, that's true. Like, it's brimming, Charlie. What are you doing? Yeah, brimming. Feces. Brimming. You're on television. Ah, oh, the intern's coming over later. Yeah, exactly. The one with the big tits. <laughs> okay, Charlie. I'm going to fondle her pussy while uh, she cleans out my shit bowl. Uh, right, Charlie, Charlie, I'm out of like, here. I'm out of yeah. here. I can't. I'm the plumber. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. But it's, it's crazy when you watch someone doing something like that. Like, it's whatever they make, it's fine. Right. Well, like garbage men. Whatever fucking garbage men get paid, it's fine. Yeah, because you're not doing that. I couldn't. Right. It's just not that it's beneath me, but I, I would get, I couldn't. Sure. You'd just be hanging out on the side of a garbage truck, dry heathing. <sighs> yeah. They, whatever they make. It sucks because it's like in the winter, it's so freezing cold and you're driving on the outside of a truck. Yeah. In the summer, it's probably fun driving on the outside of a truck, but all the garbage stinks so bad. It stinks. And the, and the, yeah, I'm sure there's bugs in the winter, but probably not as many as there are oh, in the summer. Oh, there's probably a ton of bugs in the summer. In the summer, yeah. The yeah. summer is just. Oh, the rats. They, I've talked to those guys. I tell you, like the fun shit they do with rats. Oh yeah, they used to like right outside Fifty Seventh Street. They remember the garbage men would come, and like one of them would have like a big, like almost, almost like an axe handle or something. It was a big wooden, like a broom handle. He'd have like a broom handle, and then the other one would go like, okay, one, two, three, and he'd pull up the garbage bag, and the rats would scurry oh. under the garbage bag, and he'd just start swinging at the rats on the sidewalk. Rats don't, I mean, they bug me if one was near me, but I was walking through Washington Square Park last night and there's one scampered in front of me. And like, again, they're unpleasant, but I don't, I don't have, a, I react worse to roaches than rats. Hmm. Like some people, if they see a rat, like, like if Voss saw that rat, if Voss saw a rat from a helicopter, he'd be freaked out. Really? Like, so yeah. Some guys are just like that. But like for me, it's like, if I see what it is, it is what it is. It's not going to ruin my day. It's like a city squirrel. Yeah. 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 Although that Morgan Spurlock documentary about rats. Disgusting. When they put that camera down the drain pipe and they were like, let's just see if we can see any. And all of a sudden, just dozens of sets of eyes start opening. Yeah. And you realize they're just everywhere. They're in the everywhere. City. And isn't it weird? Like, I don't know what. And he made a great point about how fucking it's in our DNA to hate them. Because if they were bunnies. You'd think they were amazing. You'd be like, this is the greatest city in the world. There's all these bunnies underground. Yeah, look at that. Look at these street rabbits. Give them some food. That's true. Whenever there's a bunny on my front lawn, I'm like, kids, yeah, come look at the bunny. And everybody's like, this is incredible. Let's go feed it. I hope it starts its family here. But when you see them, like, I, yeah, like when you see them all over, what, what is it? It's got to be in the DNA that rats just make you fucking skeeved out. Yeah, even deer. When a deer shows up on my front lawn. It's like, this is incredible. Yeah. They're carrying ticks for my dog. This is fantastic. But there's just something where it's like an event, whereas if you saw one yeah. rat run across your driveway, you'd be like, oh, no. Yeah, they're gross, man. They are, but I wish I wish we could enjoy them. So did Michael them. Jackson. You ever hear that song, Ben? Sure I have. Yeah. Sure, I loved it. And I, and I loved Gentle Ben when I was a boy. Well, wasn't that about a bear? Yes, it was. It was with Clint Howard, right? I didn't remember that it was with Clint Howard. I yeah. just remembered the bear. Yeah, you would cry when it was over. Yes, I would. But that had nothing to do with a rat. No, but you said Ben. True. And I just went and translated it to Gentle Ben. You love Gentle Ben. I did. <laughs> My mother reminded me I would cry when Gentle Ben was over when she was hitting me. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could I wish we could appreciate rats. Like, Willard had it right, even though they turned on him. But I wish we could appreciate rats and not get so grossed out by them. Yeah, they were on his side for a while. And yes, Willard. they were. They were on his side for a while. I mean, they, what is it about them that makes everybody so crazy? Because they are pretty fucking resourceful. Well, They're think, everything we should be. Well, they I don't think, complain, eat anything. I think because we look at them and we realize that, I mean, there's just so many of them. And they're so comfortable being on top of each other. And they have no vertebrae. So they fit into all these tiny little spots. And they like gross stuff. They like gross stuff. There's a feeling of helplessness. I don't feel like if the rats wanted to take over... I don't know how we could stop them. Have you ever held a rat? No, I've held like a, a mouse, but yeah. not a rat. My friend had two pet rats, and I and uh, they were big, and I let them run up my leg. Ugh. But they were they were like um, domesticated rats. Yeah, um, the, the the subway rats freak me out when when there's like rats in subway cars. I think about that sometimes. Although most of these videos are fake, like somebody puts a rat in the subway car, but. Yeah, like there's videos of people sleeping on the subway and the rat starts crawling up their leg. I've seen that at the homeless guy, yeah. Those are freaky. Yeah, oof. I didn't mean to go off on a disgusting animal tirade. I just thought of that. You like you want you want peace for the rats. You want to appreciate the rats. Yeah. 
What do you think is? Uh, what do you think Facebook's going to name their company? It should be Rats <laughs> with a Z. <laughs> yeah, Rats Inc. Yeah, look at this. They're sitting there. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy, this poor guy, he's yeah. homeless. He got nowhere to go. It's the winter because everybody's wearing jackets. He's like, "What the fuck?" He wakes up and there's a rat on his face. Ran, ran right up his chest, and he, he handled it better than I. Because I probably would have given me a stroke if it was on me like that. Well, he's—I mean, imagine what he's got to deal with in his day-to-day -day life. Yeah, but even he was like, "What the fuck?" Get like your your biggest problem is like your apps don't work and your lights for your your outdoor. Area in your exactly. Penthouse. So that's He's, why when I hear a guy out there begging for money, I'm like, I know what you're going through. <laughs> we all have stresses. Yeah, my Mercedes is not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to. Your biggest stress is figuring out how to trade your Mercedes for a BMW. And this guy's sitting there trying to catch a couple of Z's on the subway. Yeah. And wakes up with a goddamn rat on his face. Yeah. Yeah, but even even he was like, "What? Get get off me!" Like even even homeless guys who do out. deal with a lot, a rat on you is just not acceptable. Yeah, no, it's bad. No one feeds the rat; they feed pigeons. And that's another level of homelessness. When you're when you're comfortable with rats crawling on your face, I don't that's... think anybody could be. I don't, I don't think there's anyone. Again, I, I believe Morgan Spurlock, like it's in your fucking DNA. I don't think anybody could actually sit in a, unless you're completely mentally ill and just just fucking nuts. Or you live underground and become the rat king. I just could do that. Right? Yeah. I'm sure there's people, like the people who live underground. In the, like, do you abandoned. think the mole people see a lot of rats? They live with them. They live among them. Oof. The mole people are the people that live in like the abandoned subway tunnels and stuff, right? There's yeah. probably rats in there. Oh, my God. They're, that's where they go. There's so many rats in there. The mole people probably have them all as pets. They probably have a rat army. Did you ever see video of people who go into sewers and do sewer work and the way the cockroaches are on the ceiling? And so, like, I guess even those those guys just you get used to that. But it's like it's like there's, you can't even see the ceiling because it's all roaches. Oh, uh, I hate that. Yeah, hate that. It's like my bathroom floor. <laughs> <laughs> hate killing bugs. I just hate killing. I saw a fucking. You don't like to kill bugs? No, roaches are one thing. But I saw a fucking those piece of fish? shit silver fish last night, and I still had to scoop it up and put it outside. It was it was I mean, walking in a circle. Like, I think it stepped in poison or something because it looked like it was dying. Yeah. And then I, I footed it, and it moved, so I had to get a towel and put it outside. And it's like, you put these bugs outside, and they're like... That's not my business if it's a prey out there. We're still 70 stories or whatever, and, like, we're still in the sky. Like, this isn't outside. No, I know, but I'm, it's not my business if another bug gets it or if he hits a spider web. Or if he's just lost out. He's like, I'm, all I got is this porch. Otherwise, I got to fall to my death. Yeah, I mean, It's not outside. Outside. That's you know, there's like three potted plants that he could go in. That's his problem. <laughs> and he probably not, they probably not only comes back in, he probably brings other bugs. Of course he does. Hey, he's, look, I know where this asshole's, the hole in his house is. Come in. Yeah. He's like, guys, you don't, you're not staying out here, are you? No, everybody come no, with come me. On. Yeah, starts a conga line into my fucking bedroom. <laughs> yeah, watch these glue traps. Don't step on them. Yeah, avoid these. <laughs> I had to take them out because the guy was here. I was so embarrassed by them. Oh, really? So last night I spent an hour cutting fucking... This is what my life is at age 53 after 30 years of stand-up. I cut bug glue traps for about 20 minutes after sorting pennies. And then I laid my glue oh traps my out. And then I was so happy because my scissors are so sticky. Yeah. And I finally, I realized that Goo Gone works very well on glue trap glue on my scissors. Sure. And I just kept opening and closing them quickly because it was off. And I went to bed. This is you trying to, this is why, like, you are as close to an alien as I think I've ever met. Like you're removed from humanity. Yeah, that's my life. <laughs> you know, like this is, shit. this is this is adulting for you. Yeah. You know, cleaning this, the gook off my scissors. Because you had to cut your glue traps <laughs> after counting your pennies. <laughs> oh, how old is grandpa? He's, he's 53. 53. He's actually yeah. a pretty young guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then finding bugs and releasing them back out into the wild. No, 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 no. <laughs> Onto the porch. <laughs> Onto the patio, whatever it's called. Yeah. You start thinking karma when you get old. You start thinking like, fuck, man. But then God's going to be like, no, you put them on your balcony. That's not an environment for them. That doesn't count as karma. Yeah. And I don't think it is anything. I think God cares. God probably steps on silverfish. He doesn't care about silverfish. No. 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 Can you imagine getting to heaven? Getting outside the gates. And he'd be like, no, look at all these silverfish you stepped on. You have to go to hell. And you're like, What? Silverfish? Or if you just have to live with them. Or maybe in heaven is filled with bugs. 
Cause yeah, cause every oh yeah, all. You the, imagine if heaven is just roach infested. Yeah, God's like I don't know. I made so many of them. Yeah, God loves everything. Yeah, I don't know what I was. I don't know. It's infested. It's disgusting up here. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I have. <laughs> I didn't have much happen yesterday. Sounds like you had quite an evening. Yeah. <laughs> quite a fun night. <laughs> Yes, but you're you're excited because Facebook is changing its parent company's name. I just I, I don't know why this is a story. Me neither. It's a big story. What are they going to call it to? I learned about it on the Daily Mail where they're like they should call it Woke Book. Ooh, <laughs> that's pithy. <laughs> I know. Woke. Whoa, book. Zuckerberg's going to have to think twice before he opens the paper this morning. Yeah. Uh oh. What an awful, like kind of uh, stupid. But was it, Why don't they call it woke book? Users mock. Fa By the way, the Daily Mail I love, but there, there's so many things that are not stories that they make stories like so and so says this. Yeah, but anytime they can get a shot in at Facebook, why not? Yeah, that's their. That's their. I think that's their company motto. Yeah, kill Facebook. If we can get a shot in at Facebook, yeah. why not? And they do. They they are better than a lot of the other news sites as far as like how much information they give you. Although sometimes nice. they're just repeating the same story over and over. And it's nice that they have a lot of ads. No, I you know what I, I think uh, on the phone it's not that bad. I use their app, it's not bad. There's, they, but when, on on um, Safari you can't navigate it. It's a fucking nightmare. I sometimes look like these sites that are crawling with ads. I'll I'll look at like how many the thing I use blocks. Like, it'll tell you how many trackers it just blocked. And some of these websites you go to, it's like 30 trackers were just blocked. What's a tracker that just, that, that latches onto your uh, browser? Yeah, it's, what, it's how you get the, uh, what's it called? The uh, specialized ads. Oh, man. Targeted ads. Yeah, because they're, they, all these companies just put in trackers. And that's why you go to all the websites and the ads kind of follow you from website to website. But you can block that. Yeah. I have to make sure I'm blocking trackers. I'm probably not blocking them. No. Yeah, you kind of got to go out of your way to do it. Yeah, because there's a lot of ads on this. BMW, which we oh, talked I mean, about yesterday. We, and, we looked at that. And this whole thing here, whatever that blue, green, turquoise thing is, that's tracked ads. Like that box is just filled by whatever your computer says you're going to. So those, that's all targeted. And you scroll and it pops. It really yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It's almost unnavigatable the way they have. I know they have to make money and it shouldn't be for free. Because they they're getting, you know, that's, why should they do all this work for me to just look at shit for free? Like yeah, there should yeah. be some payoff for them, but it's ludicrous how many ads there are. Yeah, I mean, it's like the old MySpace pages. Like you can't even load the article because there's just so <laughs> many videos and stuff playing. Yeah. But yes, this is. But this is another non-article. It says Facebook has been mocked after a report. Like, has Facebook been mocked or did you just want to put the headline that said woke book? And if they have been mocked, how is that a story? It's not. Users are making fun of them on Twitter. Who fucking cares? Yeah, I'm sure there are other users making fun of other things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's also not a story. Yeah, how about another story? Some users psyched about the name change. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares about the name change. They're like, well, you know, because it's Facebook and it's Instagram and all the other companies it owns, they're going to have a new name. Okay. I just found out today that the name of Google's company is not Google. Today, this morning. Yeah. I had no idea. What's the name of Google, actually? Alpha, Alphabet City. Or, or Alphabet, Alphabet City? Alphabet, yeah. Alphabet, Alphabet Soup? City is in the fucking village. Oh. To the left. Yeah, I had no idea Alphabet was a company. I didn't know until just now. Because why would you? Um, yeah. It's just what they put on their letterhead. Yeah, which one, which one, Travis? Woke book or liberals Russ? Are us. Liberal, oh, liberals uh, are us would be fitting. Liberals are us. Oh, what a dope I am, liberals Russ. <laughs> How am I a comedian? <laughs> Fucking liberals That's Russ. I mean, technically, they, they could have capitalized the U, but you are a shithead. <laughs> Both are true. Nice. Uh, oh, face palm, more like it. Uh, yeah. Good. Facebook logo uh, through the, oh, who fucking cares? You really do realize how many people are just unfunny. Yeah, it They're really is. <laughs> yeah. Just literally witless people who bore people at parties trying to make points. Because they're all going to repeat this stuff. They're going to call it woke book. Yeah. Can you imagine going to a party and somebody actually saying that to you and having to keep a straight face? Yeah, I wonder if they're going to call it Woke Book. 
Um, uh, I've heard the new name of the Facebook is going to be the Federal Department of Social Thought Regulation. Uh, uh, Facebook is breeding ground for conspiracy theorists, white supremacists, and Macedonian bot farms to interfere in American politics. Jeff Zuckerberg. Hey, guys, what if we change the name? Jeff? Is it a joke, or does he really not know his name? And if so, why would they post that tweet in a I, newspaper I, article? I, I, <laughs> ah, I get it. Uh, oh, it's, oh, oh, there's, oh, this is good. This is very biting. This is very biting social commentary. Yeah. Somebody posted a picture. It's of, a sheep fucking a wolf in the ass. <laughs> I think, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a it's a wolf, but he's got a sheep skin over it. It's no, a, it's, it's a sheep fucking that wolf in the ass. That's what's happening. And that's, he's mounted the wolf. <laughs> he's pounding its rear. That's the new name of Facebook. Sheep fuck. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're right. There are some unfunny people. Funny. <laughs> Facebook with well, I mean, look, anything. Anytime you put a Simpsons meme up there, it's going to get a pop. Mr. Burns with a mustache. Also, I think like a lot of these people are uh, not quite grasping the idea of a parent company name, that Facebook is still going to be Facebook. Sure. You know, for our day-to-day -day life, we won't notice this at all. Instagram will be called Instagram. Facebook will be called Facebook. And the company that- WhatsApp or whatever else they WhatsApp have. WhatsApp will be called WhatsApp. And then the there'll be some- company over it with a different name that nobody will care about. Hey, can we go to this guy, Derek? Because he, he's now he's got me all fucking worried. What's up, Derek? Derek. Hey, fellas. How you guys doing? Hey. Good. Yeah, so, Jim, when you use, like, apps like the Daily Mail or pretty much any app for that matter, um, they're just as bad as the website sometimes, the tracking, because when you download them, you're giving away permission. So you have to check, uh, take a look at uh, if it's looking at your location data. Oh, yeah. Browser history, all that stuff, because... Um, you know, they say it's like uh, if something's free, then you're the product, right? So they're collecting your data off, off of your phone through the app, even though you're not using the website. Uh, I, there is a thing here, allow apps to request to track. The iPhone is pretty good, but does that mean I'm not being tracked? Yeah. Well, if you, go into, <laughs> if you go into settings, you can see what apps are tracking and what yeah. apps aren't, like geo-tracking. Right. And recently, with that uh, more recent iOS update, yeah, they're allowing you to block certain things from being tracked, but you just got to be careful with that because sometimes they're just as bad as the websites with retargeting and hitting you with ads and all that stuff and, uh, and you know, downloading your browser data. Yeah, collecting info. Thank you. Thanks, yeah, I buddy. like that you have to, like, yeah, take care, guys. thanks, location services, like, when you're using and when, yeah. like, you can, you know, exactly when they're doing it. Yeah, I've gone through all that. Yeah, me too. I'm very, uh, I turn it off location all the time, even on maps. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not working. <laughs> yeah, this is not helpful yeah, at stupid. all. <laughs> yeah 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 you gotta uh you have to watch that stuff yeah fucking i'm so stupid are you yeah with this with this stuff well yeah but who's gonna be rich from change getting there i forgot <laughs> i had so many pennies but i'm on to the pennies now i did the quarters the dimes the nickels the pennies and then i'll go to the bank next week and do it or this week good yeah i had this i sat there i had to go it took hours. I had to go to four different stores yesterday to try to find a Ghostbusters outfit for Halloween. Not for myself, obviously. A child-sized Ghostbusters outfit. And I was like, how is this 1985 costume still this popular? Like, yeah. nobody has them. Nobody had them. Were they all sold reboot. out? You think it was all they were all they all wanted to dress up as as Leslie Jones or Kate McGill? Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's probably it. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's the better one. I think yeah. definitely. Yeah, everybody was sold out of them. I finally found one at like a Target in a. I couldn't tell if it was returns, like it was like in a in a cart or whatever. Yeah, and we like we, we've ordered a bunch of them, and they keep coming back like a day later, going, "Hey, your order was canceled." It's like, oh, thanks, thanks yeah, for that. Cart right here. Yeah. You <laughs> Did you, listen to, did you listen to the thing I just said just now? Yeah, about how you had to go hours and hours and hours out of your way to find something that was already online. It you you just ordered it, Travis? Yeah, you just ordered it. Add to cart. Boom. It cancels the order. By the way, um, <laughs> Apple, what liars the Apple is? Why? Well, we don't know about the cords. They're just making something new. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, both of them came in the, the mail. Both ones I ordered from Mark, uh, Jeff Bezos came. Of course, yeah. Oh. Bezos has got the hookup. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm surprised you can't get your item. No. It's a cute outfit. It's great. It's 
not even a real proton pack. No, I know. It's, it bugs, bugs me. But what's the one that comes with the costume? You know what I mean? If you really want a real proton pack, you got to buy it separately for money. Oh. But kid, the kid looks happy as a fucking clam. Oh, well, he's, a, he's a Ghostbuster. Two he gets to dress up, to dress up as his favorite Ghostbuster. Yeah. They don't show him scratching because the outfit is itchy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why we had one and we had to order another one because you don't realize that, like, you got to layer kids up under the suit because otherwise he's going to wear, like, jackets and stuff over it. And then you look like a total dweeb. Yep. Wearing a bunch of jackets over your Halloween costume. You can't so, be like that. You got to get a bigger one. Exactly. That's what we had to do. Get an adult one. I don't know if we have to go quite that big. <laughs> but you got to get a, a bigger kids one so you can put a little sweatshirt on them or whatever. Yeah. But then I found a Ghostbusters jacket. So put the Ghostbusters jacket on over the Ghostbusters suit with enough room under it to layer. We should be good now. Is there anything that makes you feel like a bigger dick than wearing a jacket over a costume? Oh, uh, I it's remember as a humiliating. Kid, like a pirate with a parka on. Oof. You look like an idiot. Stock here too. Yeah. Nobody. nobody. Iron Mickey, where's your mittens? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit party. Nobody can even see. Shit pirate dialogue. Wow, yeah. pirates, they're all out of stock in, in Party City. Yeah. Smart ass tried to try to make a point over uh, there. 12 in stock yeah. right there. Oh, I can't believe it. How did I miss North Bergen yesterday? Seems like an easy thing to do. What, yeah. go to North Bergen? Yeah. Would you do yeah. that? That's because yeah, you I live on. Kid. That's because you live on Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, I love my kid. <laughs> Travis will do anything to get off of Staten Island. Oh yeah, I'll pay that toll happily. <laughs> yeah, tra tra Travis will take the boat to Party City anytime. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's when you know you live in a shithole when you have to take a boat to go to Party yeah. City. <laughs> and it's the fucking the dump boat. It's the garbage boat. The, the garbage scow. <laughs> Honey, you got to jump on the garbage boat to get this Ghostbusters yeah. outfit. And you have to keep talking so they know that you're you're living. And not to be thrown in the pile. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm just here for the transportation. Yeah. <laughs> but I tell you, while I was out, and I think you'll be with me on this, I stopped by Jersey Mike's. Ah, yeah. If there's one, I, I will have, and I know people from Philly are probably like, what? But it's a chicken cheesesteak. So I, that's not like Philly's thing. Jersey Mike's chicken cheesesteaks? I'll have those every single day. Are they good, huh? They're so good. So good. Like, I had one for lunch, and then I was thinking at dinner time, should I drive back to Jersey Mike's and get another one? Like, it's so good. I, I've been thinking about Jersey Mike's a lot. I'm I'm just so fat right now. I'm so annoyed. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I've been, cr like, really tempted to go in and get a sub. Or you should. Just like a traditional sub. I'm, I'm dying for one. They're not so bad for you. Just a traditional sub? Vegetables on there? Well, there's a lot of meat and capicola. Meat's good for you. Yeah. Protein? And cheese. Cheese is good. Okay. Dairy? The That's, bread. Yeah, yeah. Wheat. Oh. Have you ever seen the food pyramid before? That's a good point. It's got everything on there. I've been craving a cold, like one of those big subs with oil, with oil and vinegar soaks through. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You can get it Mike's way. Mike's way. Yeah. Turkey and provolone. Oh, there's some good fucking subs. You know what? The fact that it's Jersey Mike's, I bet if I had gone to North Bergen, it would have been real easy to find one. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> Maybe you're right, Travis. I should have gone to North Bergen. Look at that. Is that bacon on the top of oh, it? Oh, yeah. And their bacon is always good. It is? Oh, yeah. When's the last time you went to Jersey Mike's? Two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> recently. Yeah. Staten Island? Uh, yeah. It's right on the way home from my daughter's skating uh, center. So we're just like, Jersey Mike's for lunch? Yeah. How often does she skate? Every weekend. Oh, it'd be every weekend for me <laughs> yeah. for sure. It's hard not to do it every weekend. Do you yeah. like Staten Island? Yes, I you do. do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a loser. <laughs> 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 it gets a bad rap. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the suburbs. It's like any other place. Except it smells like garbage. <laughs> it's better than Westchester. Yeah. No, Westchester doesn't smell like garbage. There's no dumps in Westchester. Still smells like garbage. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I've never smelled garbage. The traffic in Staten Island is on. Oh, it's the worst. Is it bad? Uh, I, I used to drive all the time going to Long Island for gigs from Jersey, so there's no way to avoid it. You just can't. That's why you got to take a boat. Yeah. It was fucking br absolutely brutal. No traffic in the water, right? No, I take boats everywhere. You do? Yeah, even, <laughs> even if it's cross land. <laughs> yep. The West Smart. Shore Expressway yep. to the belt is is literally... Bad. Yeah. It, it's it's you want to commit suicide at, at least 30 different moments yeah. <laughs> the bridge the fuck and then you cross over the bridge and you can see the belt parkway and you're like oh fuck you. <laughs> you you get the traffic panic like oh no i think this is forever now it's never gonna stop yeah that the lie is pretty horrendous too like i, I don't think i've ever it's seen all bad 
it's all bad. Long Island's real bad. Yeah, it's just shit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, but it's not like if I moved to Brooklyn, I'd be like, oh, the BQE is awesome. No, no but it's so much it, better. Subway. Yeah, that's true. There's boats in Staten Island. Same, same. Same, same, pretty much. Yeah, yeah and the subway to Brooklyn is like forever. Yeah. Still better than a boat. What do you say? I'm going to hop on the water train? It fucking sucks. <laughs> How often do you take a boat? The water choo choo every day, twice a day. He takes a boat to work. Yeah. It's you're... like, what an asshole. How else am I going to get in? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. A Swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A boat to I'd be so annoyed taking I'd be a boat fear to every work. Time every time I heard. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Yeah. No. Well, we have two Jersey mics, so. You do? Yeah. I've and they're next door to each other. <laughs> <laughs> how uh, how long does the boat take? You half hour? Twenty four minutes. You take a twenty four minute boat ride every day. That's right. They usually on time. All the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a boat. And you don't have to wait long to get one. Every thirty minutes. Oh, all night. Yes. And then in rush hour, it's like every fifteen minutes. But they they, they don't stop at night. No, it's twenty four hours. Oh, all that's right. sick. Yeah. You could. I would take a late night boat. I, I mean, I do every morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You, pretty much. Any weirdos on there or no? Yeah. Okay. Are there people that just chill on the boat? Well, yeah, because it's free. I mean, it's a free boat. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, De Blasio. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it was him. Well, oh, nothing. I love nothing more than pe tourists will take the boat from uh, New York to Staten Island to get a free view of the Statue of Liberty. Smart, smart. You and, don't have to take that stupid Ellis Island boat. Exactly. And yeah. there's nothing I love more than the boat being like two minutes late. Mm hmm. So that they don't make their transfer to the boat back, and they have oh, to sit true. in that terminal for thirty minutes. They just sit in the Staten you like Island that? boat I terminal. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Sam would love it. You, you love when somebody just misses a subway. Oh, I couldn't imagine the joy. <laughs> I could not. I mean, as much as I love, I love a missed train. I love a missed bus. But I would have to think that a missed boat might would take the, the cake. Because the terminal at Staten Island, they've got these giant glass doors that they close, and ah. people run to those doors. And they're just closing. And, and the great thing about missing a boat, this is what makes it so funny, is that boats move so slowly at so first. Slow. You could have let me on. <laughs> 20 minutes later, you can still see the guy on the fucking back of it. Yeah, just you like, still talk to him. <laughs> and you can still see, like, you can touch it. It's not like a subway where it's gone in 10 seconds. No, you can touch it. Like, you can, you, it'll, you, it can scrape your fingers as it goes by. I love it. But it won't stop. And then it's 30 minutes until the next one. And. You're stuck in Staten Island. Yeah, you're just sitting at the terminal. There's at nothing a boat to do. terminal. So wait, do they uh, do they ever? How come they don't open the door for them when they're coming? Well, because at some point you got to close the door. You just yeah. you can't just keep it open. That's true. Once know. the boat's moving, boat's moving. Yeah, that's true. That's a good thing to beat the system, though, so you don't have to take the Ellis Island boat. Yep. And yeah. People do it all the time. So you get a good view of the Statue of Liberty every day, twice oh, yeah, a day. Yeah. yeah. But do I don't. Is do it ever... the same view? Yeah. It's just yeah, you just <laughs> they don't take new routes every day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, th I would have thought, yeah, I guess day. so. Yeah. <laughs> the driver doesn't mix things up. No, what I meant was the same view as the, as the Ellis Island boat. Like, oh, yeah, oh. if you're just looking to like see the Statue of Liberty, like you could see it perfectly from this free ferry, or you can pay, you know, forty bucks to get a little bit closer. Fuck that. I've been. Uh, have you ever been to the Statue of Liberty? I think I went once. Like, I went when I, my grandmother. Really? My grandmother used to take me to everything like that. Like she would always take me into New York. Um, she took me to the Empire State Building, the World Trade Center. Um. And then the Statue of Liberty, but the arm was closed because they, for years they closed the right arm because it was getting weak. Mm. So you couldn't go up in that, but it was fun. Your right arm is weak too. No, my right arm is fucking, um, is beast mode. <laughs> my left arm is atrophied. <laughs> my fucking right arm Dude, is like abuse. <laughs> yeah, my right arm is muscular. <laughs> yeah, I went to the Statue of Liberty once, like as a kid, like as a school trip. But that's it. I would take the Staten Island boat to look at it, I think. The freebie. Oh my God! They haven't been allowed in the torch for over a century. Uh, uh, could you go back? To, oh, you're on. Um, I didn't realize it was that. The event that sparked the ban occurred 102 years ago, Monday. This came out July 30th, 2018. Now, wow! Uh, an explosion on Black Tom Island in New York Harbor in the middle of the night could be heard from miles away, shattering glass windows in Manhattan and killing several people. It was a terrific explosion. That doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> yeah. The worst that had ever happened in New York, said Kenneth Jackson, a history professor at Columbia University. Oh, please. He wasn't there. Shrapnel hit the nearby Statue of Liberty, closing off the arm to future visitors. Wow. Um, that's the reason the torch is still closed off? Yeah. 
I never went up there anyway. We when we went, we never got off the boat when we went on our school trip. So crazy that you, since 1916, you have. I, I heard it was because the arm was weakened, but maybe I guess obviously it's not correct. From the, yeah, from the explosion. Where was the explosion though? Black Tom Island. Where is that? I know Ellis Island. What the fuck is? How did Black Tom Island, wherever that is, affect the Statue of Liberty? It's probably nearby. The Jersey City. Of course. Must have been a big explosion. You can say that again. Yeah. I think a they terrific could. explosion. It was terrific. I heard. I heard it was really good. Wow. So that's why the arm is closed. I didn't realize that. Oh, it was yeah. a bombing. The FBI said it was a bombing. Huh. You realize some asshole sets off a bomb in Jersey City, and a hundred years later, I can't go up oh, in the torch. Okay. There it is. Yeah, it's on the tippity tip. Yeah, of Jersey City. Yeah, and all these years later, he still ruined it. Yeah. He's long gone, and the rest of us can't hang out in the Statue of Liberty Torch. It does seem like it would be a very hard thing to maintain, considering the statue is so old. Yeah. Like, how do you maintain that from all these people plodding up and down all day? Yeah, it, it, it would be tough. I mean, you could, but just look at the statue. I want to go in the torch. You do? Sure. <laughs> I'm okay not. I just look at it from the Travis boat. Yeah, you I, just like it because it's high. I'd be nervous. I was nervous in the, in the nervous? crown, yeah. I don't mind just looking at the statue from the SS Teft. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to be up there. Did you see that new art installation? I in thought the, of you. I yeah. thought of you when I heard about this. Uh, the glass house? Yep. Hang on. Where is it? Here we go. Yes. Sad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. is that you can new? have my data. <laughs> Wait, is that on the Upper West Side in Hudson Yards? No, this like is just opening now. Oh, right as we speak? Yep, right now. Yep. <laughs> it's, in, uh, it's in Midtown, your this, favorite your favorite part of the city. My your favorite, favorite fucking borough. borough, Midtown. Midtown, the number one spot. Wow. Uh, Air is an art installation by artist Kenzo Digital. Well, that's a convenient name. It opens Thursday inside the recently completed One Vanderbilt Tower. Uh, now the Big Apple's fourth highest tower. That's yep. something for you to see. Um, an elevator that is all glass, including the floor, takes, I don't know if it takes thrill seekers up the side. I don't know. I wouldn't call these people thrill seekers. Takes thrill seekers up the side of the building in midtown Manhattan. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that. To 1,200 feet in just 42 seconds. Yeah, that's thrill seeking. Then, Fuck that. That's not a thrill. It's a Wonka Vader. It's a great glass elevator. They step out onto three floors of glass and mirrors that offer spectacular views, but also aim to distort one's sense of where they are, leaving them with a feeling they are floating, plummeting. Fuck. A five-year-old could do this. This is not thrill-seeking. The experience Jim doesn't seem to want to do it. Fuck that! That like, glass elevator going that far—I'd be afraid it would overshoot. I'd fall. No way. They fuck that. They test these things. Doesn't matter. They test the. Yeah, they everything. test roller coasters. Those still kill people. Very seldom. Let me see the. They have video of the elevator going up. That's fucking terrifying. Uh, I don't know if they have video of the elevator going up. This guy looks like he's enjoying himself. Oh my god! He's, he's seeking thrills <laughs> on this elevator. Like you couldn't put this art exhibit on a Mountain Dew commercial. But this is what it looks like. Oh, wow. Dude, that's just terrifying. Like, uh, I'm not interested in doing it, but I also, if somebody told me they did it, I wouldn't be like, man, you got guts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you wouldn't do it, though? No, I'm not interested in that. I, I, would, I, would, be, I, would, I would probably do that. Well, you're a thrill seeker. Um, yeah, that's just 42 seconds to go 1,200 feet. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Not happening. Oh, so you're not going to do it? I might. You should. Seek a thrill every now and then. One Vanderbilt. What is it? Is it an office building? I, oh, yeah, I've seen that building. It's got space for many things. I, I can actually see that building from my house. How did this guy... So then you can see your house from this art installation. Yeah. If you even can tell where you are because of all the glass and mirrors and whatnot. Yeah. It's a nice building. Where, where is it? Midtown. And what? Do you know what and what? Uh, one Vanderbilt Avenue. Uh, where the fuck is Vanderbilt Avenue? Well, it looks 40, like it's right by Grand Central. 42nd okay. Street. Yeah. All right. That's Vanderbilt Avenue? Who yeah. calls it that? <clears throat> I got a hooker off Vanderbilt Avenue. No, no one yeah, says that. It's on Vanderbilt. That's an avenue. It's like the street that leads up to Grand Central. Yeah. But it's Okay, so it's not 42nd Street. No, it's 42nd Street and Vanderbilt Avenue. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, it's a little side street there. Yeah. That they threw a... 
the name on. Okay. Yeah, Vanderbilt Ave, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bro, how can your Midtown be your spot and you never even heard of Vanderbilt <laughs> Avenue? Because I don't go that far east. Oh. You like Times Square? No. No, no. I like uh, up, up west a little bit. Just places where there's really good, uh, delicious restaurants. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I like a good a gentleman's eating experience. That's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. This looks cool. Look at that. Mirrors. Mirrored ceilings. Yeah, mirrors and glass. I'd, I'd go up there. That looks kind of... How long is that going to be up for? I don't know. You got to take a great glass elevator to get That I don't know if I care for. Sorry. You can shut your eyes. Mm, glass, gla- yeah, but glass floors and everything. If you shut your eyes, then you won't know what the floor is made of. I know. I've, done, I've had to do that in the CN Tower in Toronto. Shut my eyes going up. It's terrifying. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> Fucking terrifying. Sounds scary. I don't want any part of it. Uh... Oh, it could get so bright, the guests are handed sunglasses on the way in. Do you get to keep the sunglasses? I don't know. Probably not. You throw in a box like those shit 3D glasses. Right, like at Disney? Yeah. That's no, I'd bring my own. I want some dirty fucking- Well, you're encouraged to bring your own. Good. Do you have your own? Yeah. Perfect. Of course. Perfect. Nice pair. You do? Well. BMW owner's pair? No, they're average. I lose, I fucking, I can't get rid of sunglasses fast enough. I lose them constantly. Yeah. Yep. Well, check it out. Yeah, maybe. Speaking of New York uh, sights and sounds, what's up with the Harambe statue at Wall Street? <laughs> yeah. Did somebody just come and put it up? Staring at the bull. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a Harambe statue right next to the bull, and then they covered the bull with bananas. Is that true? Oh, that's a fun headline. New Yorkers go bananas for Harambe. Oh, I get it. This is a memorial to our lost icon, correct? <laughs> yeah. Seven foot Harambe statue. Just staring at the bull. <laughs> There's bananas under the bull. <laughs> Did like a group of people come in the night and put him down? Like, is, is he yeah. too heavy to move now? Why haven't they moved him? A statue of Harambe. A 17-year-old gorilla whose death, spark- <laughs> whose death sparked international outcry. 10,000 bananas surrounded the bull. Went face-to-face with the charging bull statue in Manhattan on Monday. But Jim, do you read why the bananas were there? Uh, to illustrate how bananas Wall Street has become. <laughs> and show the disparity in wealth between the 1% and everybody else. It's not what it does. Get it's it? just like, hey, look at bananas. the cool, look at the monkey and the, and the, and the bananas and the bull. Well, Harambe. Monkey. Yeah. Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> That's the fun that people like to have Pepper around Wall Street. Right <laughs> yeah, I never, ever would read a social message of disparity. No, no. it's not. It's a cool ape statue and a bunch of bananas. I'd just be thrilled that Harambe made his way to Wall Street. Hey, look at King Kong and the bull. They'll be distributed to local food shelters across the That's New York area. That's great news. Responsibility. Good news. I mean, I hope right away. Those things, uh, those things yeah. will be brown in two days. Who the fuck wants bananas that have been sitting on Wall Street under a bull statue? <laughs> well, what you, a shit thing to distribute. Once you peel them, they're just as good. No. Where'd you get this from? The store? No, there's a bird shitting on it. It was under a bull. Yuck. And then they tell the backstory of Harambe in the article. <laughs> Great news. Uh, to illustrate, I hate things that are there to illustrate. Well, they got to do it for a reason. Art is supposed to have a purpose. Not necessarily. It can just be the artist feels like saying something, or it could just be the well, artist saying something, or it could just be that the artist likes the way something looks. Wait, sometimes you just like. Sometimes you just like the way something looks. There doesn't have to be a higher meaning to it. There can be. It's like when you when you when you. Color the duck blue because you've never seen a blue duck before. Yeah, people do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the only reason. Yeah, it doesn't mean like, oh, this is what... Because a lot of times artists have to... Because most people look and go, what the fuck is that? Oh, no, it's to show the... If I can't look at that and go, wow, look at the disparity between the 1% and everyone else, I look at that and I go, wow, an ape statue. (laughs) <laughs> well, art is up to interpretation as well. I am also, in fairness, shit at interpreting art. You're I, not that I, good at it? No, I'm oh. never, I never pick up those. Well, no, what it was really saying, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, a house? Well, no, I mean, it's symbolic of, oh, no, I just saw the house. Um, John in uh, Virginia. What's up, John? Yeah, boys, um, I can explain to you what the statue is about, so... 
You know, on Wall Street, there's bears and bulls. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's now an ape community, and a lot of them actually um, have bought into AMC Entertainment, like the movie theater chain. Nice. And they call themselves the apes, and what they're trying to do with the movement is expose all of the corruption on Wall Street. So that's uh. what they call themselves, our apes. So is this is it named after Harambe, or is that, that not Harambe? He's just the symbol. It is Harambe. Good. Um, but it's... There's not really any episodes. They just chose Harambe. I guess. Because it's the internet. Shot. Yeah, it's the internet. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Well, this makes sense. Thank you, buddy. Yep. See, there is some interpretation to be had to this art. These yep. are the uh, Stonks people. I love it. I love that the internet is fucking up Wall Street. Yeah, I do too because they, they say like, oh, they, they shouldn't be allowed to do that, but why not? Like... Stockbrokers, they, they've manipulated or, or, or powerful people on Wall Street manipulated stock. Like, yeah, I mean, it shows not... you how much I know about stock. I can only talk about this like a fucking eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how it feels. But yeah, like why why not? You don't like that somebody's better at it? It's because they're not in the club. They're not in that club, yeah. They're not in the club. But it's not 10,000 bananas, by the way. It's not 10,000 bananas. What? Could be. No, it couldn't be. It's oh, actually, yes. you know what? The, you know where they got the bananas? Uh, Andrew Yang intended to buy three, and he accidentally <laughs> bought all those. <laughs> That's probably bananas. Five hundred bananas. Oh, it's more than five hundred. Yeah, it's more than five hundred. How many to a bushel would you say? Six or six. Six to a bushel. It's not a thousand bushels there. Are you guys nuts? 1,500 bushels? Well, there's more than 100 bushels there. Maybe more than 100. So that's more than 500. Okay, but it's still not 10,000. It would need to be about 1,600 bushels. It's not 1,600 bushels. Well, we can't see behind it. That's true. Maybe there are bushels behind it's the not. bowl. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look like there are bushels behind the bowl. We can see somewhat behind it, and it doesn't appear to be overrun with bushels. It's not. Also, if they put the majority of the banana bushels behind the bowl, it, I, I wouldn't understand why you would do that. Yeah. It's about the front of the bowl. It would be bad for photos. Yeah, no, it's probably not 10,000 yeah. bananas. It's an absolutely. But it's a fun number to say. Sure. Look at all the bananas, 10,000 yeah. of them. Should we send AJ down to count them? I think that'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be the right move. 927 bananas. It just doesn't have the same ring to it. So is the, is the, is the ape statue still there? I can't find anything that says it's gone. Yeah, because that's what I was wondering. Like, why haven't hasn't anyone come around and been like, hey, you can't just put statues places? And how heavy is it? It seems real heavy. It seems like statue heavy. I how love the fuck that do they get it there? They, multiple people carried it. Carried it? Well, I mean, they probably put it on a vehicle and then... and then. No, 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 but I mean, how do you get that off the back of a truck? Forklift. I guess if you have a forklift, yeah, this is... But you have to do this pretty quick if you're doing it in the middle of the night. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you probably have access to a forklift, though, if you have access to building a real statue. Maybe, sure. And also, like, and, and I'm not saying it's like this down on Wall Street, but, like, if you just act like you belong there... Who's going to stop? It's like, I guess that guy installing that Harambe statue is supposed to be here. Yeah. Who would install a Harambe statue? Yeah, it must be official. Or maybe they think it's Banksy. And they're like, let's Banksy. let it happen. Yeah. Could be Banksy. Yeah. Well, there's got to be video of them installing it, because there's cameras everywhere. Oh, See, they're there. Time. They're carrying it. So it doesn't look like it's that heavy. What's there, four people carrying it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's not made of... They're saying it's bronze. It's colored bronze. It's not made of bronze. It's probably hollow. Yeah. Yeah. Like their protest. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking Wall Street theft. Whoa. I forgot. Stock boy over here. Yeah. Bulls and bears theft. Yeah. <laughs> Are you bullish or bearish on Harambe? I don't know what the two are. <laughs> it's twinkish. <laughs> twinkish. Yeah, oh yeah, they're just kind of, I don't know why I'm acting like this is this. They're doing it in the middle of the day. Yeah, they're just putting Harambe down. Yeah, they're just putting it down. Yeah. Little handles on the side of the statue. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, see that, yeah. I'm sure it's pretty easily moved if they want it moved. I'm sure the city will move it. If it's not already moved. It's been there for a couple of days. Oh, has it? Okay. Like this story's from either yesterday or the day before. Yeah, it's a few days ago, but I don't know if it's uh, still there. Yeah. Hmm. I wish they'd stop saying 10,000 bananas. 
It's a shit lie. It does it does illustrate how easy it is to get a story out there, though. Yep. If you just say it's 10,000 bananas, everybody's like, all right, this is what we're going with. Yeah. That's what the headline said on the other website. Yeah. You're right, because a uh, simple count. Yeah. Your own research. True. You were able to find that this is not indeed 10,000 bananas. Yeah, just say a bunch of bananas. You don't have to put a crazy number on it. That's not 10,000 fucking bananas. Yeah. Who looks at that and thinks it's 10,000 bananas? No. It's m it's probably more than 1,000, though. Possibly, yeah. But I guess 1,500 bananas doesn't sound as good as 10,000. Yeah. Just say a, a large grouping of bananas. Not not that it's important, but... We put like 1,500 bananas in front of them, and then you go, that's it? The d yeah, they're going to donate to food banks. So all of a sudden, they think they're getting 10,000 bananas, and they tell 10,000 people, a banana for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and there's 8,400 people going home bananaless. There's a line, yeah. <laughs> There's a line of 10,000 people waiting for their free banana. People being murdered over bananas? Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? It's like Squid Game. When they're like, no, we thought there were more bananas. Yeah. Like, there's no, we waited on this line. We didn't get a banana. I think it's 10,000. It's probably 10,000. It's not even close. You don't think so? No. It's could, not. Could be 2,500. No, I don't think it's that many. It could be 1,600. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could be 1,600. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 1,200. There could be 200 bushels there. It's 10,000. It's about 10,000, I would say. Yeah, I wonder if it's still there. It really is, yeah. Middle of the day, they're just putting all the bananas down in front of it. Everybody's like, I don't care. I don't care. Put your bananas on the floor, whatever you want to do. Yeah. I, I mean, on a normal day, it's just a line of people waiting to take pictures. Are the there a lot of people waiting to take yeah, pictures? Yeah, it's just a line. Because that's like... A two minute walk from the ferry, and sometimes I'll have to. Sometimes go. you'll go and grab a photo. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you know, exactly. I get the pulse of the people. Yeah. Grab a quick flick. Do you know how many people take a photo behind the bull, cupping its balls? Everybody does. Hilarious. Uh, everybody. They love taking pictures of that bull's testicles. Are you the only person to actually climb up on the head and lower your anus onto a horn? <laughs> <laughs> I cut the line. I'm like, you guys, I don't need a photo. I'm just doing this for fun. Yeah. Are you guys just using the balls? Because I want to use the horn. Can I get in front? <laughs> well, imagine being there uh, waiting to get pictures with the bull's testicles and finding out you also get a Harambe photo while you're there. That's and a great. Free banana. Yeah. Wow. Well, those bananas are being saved for yes, the 10,000 homeless. They're spoken for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a line of people every oh, day. Every day. More than five people? Yes. Yeah. It's a tourist attraction now. Okay. Now it's like the cool thing to take a photo of. This is the Wall Street Bull. These are the Bull's balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they just stand there and like, stand, like yep. smile at the Bull. Yep. Hey, look where I was. Yep. Yeah. If you're passing by the Bull and you happen to see it and you want to take a quick selfie with a Bull, okay. But if you're going specifically, like you're like, let me get on this boat because yeah. this boat will take me near the Bull statue and then I'll wait online and I'll finally get my shot. That's a little much. Yeah, dinner's at 8. The bull <laughs> picture's at 6.30. We got to get there early. There's always a line. Yeah. And there's two lines. There's one for the for, back of the bull. And one for the handles. And one, and one, one for, for the, the horns. Yeah, for the anus things that I use. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're generally, yeah, yeah. generally, you have like a fast pass. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know the bull's balls were actually. Uh, oh, yeah, they're on display. Because everyone thinks they're funny. They're not wrong. Yeah. No, I mean, everybody thinks that they are being funny. Oh, no, the yeah. balls are funny. The and people aren't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, right, look what I'm going to do. Do they show the... Is, can we see a picture of the bull from the back? Yeah, sure. I'm sure there's many. <laughs> many taken every day. I guess so, right? It would oh, never yeah. occur to me, but... Um... It's like that statue in the, in the mall at Columbus Circle that has Wait, a dick on it. First one. First one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's holding the bull's balls. I, I love Travis's disdain yeah. for these tourists that, that the touch of the balls. They all do the same thing. They get under there. Oh, the little kid with the balls is I mean, a little much. Yeah. Well, if you're a kid, you're going to be look at that someday and go, how funny was my trip to New York? <laughs> I like his head. That's pretty funny. The guy put his head in the bull's ass. That's actually not a bad shot. <laughs> but I mean, it's this all day. All day. Just all day. I'd like to take a picture with the Wall Street Bulls privates. <laughs> yeah. Show it. Putting on Facebook. It's so easy to find the photos. Yeah. The guy with his head in the bull's ass was that's a pretty good photo. Yeah, that's good. At least it was original. 
Oh. With Nana. Just oh, double team in the bowl. Let me see Martha Washington. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady squatting down, holding the both balls. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's a thing. I guess so. Yep. I might, I might uh, roll by there and get something like that for the gram today. Yeah. There you go. Think anybody's ever licked them? Oh, I think yeah. they have. Back of the bull's legs are ugly. They look like the back of a fat lady's legs. Like you ever seen my six hundred pound life when they're when they're walking away and the dress lifts up. Uh, have, uh, 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 the problem, Joyce, is you're not doing what you're supposed to do. The like, doctor now has just fucking had it. <laughs> he's, fucking, he's over it. Oh, he's had it with these fucking complaining tubos. <laughs> Do you think whoever designed the bull statue outside of Wall Street, somebody was like, why did you leave the testicles in? And they were like, trust me, you want this to draw? No. Yeah. You want the bull statue to be a draw? Trust me on the testicles. How long has that statue been there? Does anybody know? Is that, is that like a, a 50-year-old statue? Or is that... At least all year, I know for sure. <laughs> oh, is that, it was a newer installment? <laughs> 1989. Oh. oh. I would have thought it was older than that. I actually would have too. Okay. Or is 1989 when they put the balls in? <laughs> yeah, it had a pussy before. Like this is just not. It's not doing it's it. Supposed to be a cow. It's not doing it. All right, and it, then Harambe was added in twenty twenty one. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. I see. I see. October twenty twenty one. They don't have a bear statue. No, and I don't believe Harambe has balls you can photograph. No. So fuck it then. Nope. I'm not going. Is it still there, Harambe? I I don't know. All I see is articles about it being there. I don't see anything saying that it's gone. When AJ gets back with Jim's breakfast, <clears throat> is it crazy to think maybe we sent him down to just find out if it's there? No, it's a 20 minute subway. Let's do that. Okay. We should get the answer to that question. Yeah. I don't know if I've, I might have seen that once in my life. I don't know if I've ever. Well, yeah, what would you be doing down in the financial district? You had to go down there. I had a lawyer down there who was uh, real estate helping me do something so like i had to track him down right he like once in a while you got to go down and you're like oh fuck wall street no Ugh. no it's never a pleasant ride down there's no good luck getting. oh a forget about driving down there yeah no but just getting that a cab sucks. sucks my uber driver today fucking ruled good for you oh good for you zipping in and out of traffic around people yeah loved him he cared <laughs> that's what you want Somebody that cares. The minute Somebody I that has got a passion. Out, five buck tip. You gave him five bucks? That I did. My God. Bombed him with a Lincoln. Let's go to uh, Derek in New York. What's up, Derek? Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Hello. Hey, uh, Jim. Saw you up in Buffalo Helium. It was an awesome show. Thank you, man. Yeah, I love that room. I'm doing Philadelphia Helium next week. Yes, yes, it was my birthday, and you made my... You're, you're so much nicer in person than you appear on stage. Really, oh, thank you. Asshole, you <laughs> thank you. No, you guys were talking about subs. I heard Sam mention uh, Jersey Mike's. Oh, they're yeah. awesome. But oh, if yeah. you guys ever get a chance, go to Wegmans and get a sub. Waggies. It'll change your life. Wegmans, all the way. Waggies. I used to go to Real. Wegmans in Syracuse. Really? Dude, it's so good. Wegmans is good. People love the food at Wegmans. Yeah. yeah. Is that a super, is yeah. that like a store store? It's a supermarket. Store? Oh, it's a supermarket. But it's like a, it's a supermarket. supermarket. Yeah, dude, it's the best. Yeah. yeah, but it's like, yeah, it is. It's a super supermarket. It's got everything you could ever oh. need. Yeah. I passed by them. I don't think I've ever yeah, been in a people, Wegmans. The people are wonderful. The service is wonderful. The food is wonderful. Everything. Just Wegmans. It's thank you. awesome. All right. Well, thank Thanks, you. This buddy. is Derek Wegman. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wegmans is to That's super. That's kind of nice, right? Oh, it's great. Wegmans yeah. is very, very nice. Wegmans is to supermarkets what Wawa's is to convenience stores. Do they have it in the city, Wegmans, or no? There's one in Brooklyn. That's it? Yeah, well, they're huge. Why am I so shocked? <laughs> Why am I out? <laughs> what, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> We've Troy got says they're putting one in an Astor place. In the old Kmart. Oh, that's right. In yeah. the old Kmart. In the old Kmart and Astor place. I feel like Wegmans is designed for, like... Spots where there's a lot more space. Like oh, it's a you, giant store. It's yeah. huge. Although very much controversial, Troy just in there said that Publix is better than Wegmans, which I have a real difficult time buying. Uh, yeah, Publix is the shit. Have you been to Wegmans though? <laughs> of course. Where? At, out in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Okay, yeah, that that, Allentown one. would be a good Wegmans. That's That'd be a good one. And Publix was better, or just the food was better. Publix is the fucking shit. Wow. But I mean, as a grocery store, it's pretty average. It's the they have everything. Shopping is a pleasure. 
<laughs> I think I think Troy really misses Florida. He misses it so much. I've been I've been why because he's back to pouting off mic. He won't he won't go to Dude, the mic. Dude, Troy was relaxing at home every day. Yeah. in a big room, and now he's in that room with fucking those two lunkheads. He really is. And Mike comes, and AJ, thick wristed men. And I have to tell you something. Troy's New York negativity has returned. His New York pessimism. Yeah. Oh, I'm great, guys. Back. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're not great. You're not doing great. Doesn't no. sound like someone who's great. No, no it doesn't. doesn't. <laughs> Just it doesn't. a bunch of men smelling each other in there. Mike loves it. Well, no, I mean, I I have taken steps to to address the man smell in here. We have some Febreze because if it gets too manly smelling, that's There's not good for anybody. Of, a lot of man going on in there. Yeah, a lot yeah. of testosterone. Well, plus <laughs> the difference is Mike is a military guy, so you've been in the Marine Corps. I mean, come on. There's nothing in there that you haven't dealt with. You slept with guys in the same room for fucking what nine months. Yeah, I mean that's an interesting way to put it. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I should rephrase that. Uh, <laughs> that's what the, the Marine come join the Marines, sleep with guys. <laughs> no, yeah, between um, between like a lifetime of football and then four years in the Marine Corps, yeah. I've just been around so many fucking Sam, dudes that it's like white noise. Okay, that's C. He's, he's doing it. On he's purpose. doing it on purpose. Yeah. He's doing it on purpose. Got, he's yelling. What's he on speakerphone? You see, you see how Troy is purposefully. Oh, okay. Yep. Troy is like. Uh, I feel the same way. Hang on. Hey, they're Clint on the phone. He says he's agreeing with me. So hang on, let me put him through. You see, you see he's being weird and passive aggressive. Okay. Yep. Put you on hold. I think that Troy is like only uh, a, a few steps away from being Vito's kid towards the end of The Sopranos. <laughs> like yep. Troy is inching towards take a shit in the shower territory. Like just weird antisocial moves that I don't know what they're based on. Yeah, he's gonna take a dump in that room with yeah. black eyeliner on. I think he is. He could do that in a day. He's in a good mood either, too. So. That's a good yeah. point. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Is he loud? Yeah. Very loud. Very passive aggressive. We have a whisper on the phone. Sam? Of course. Yes, the mic's on. Of course, that's what I want you to do. I, mean, I can't. I can't help if Mike keeps the the mic on. Or well, not. we're talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> In those moments, you but you have to just kind of navigate a little bit and just probably okay, whisper. Sorry. What, 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 hey. What's your, what's your name? Where are you calling from? See. Yeah. Projecting. He is. Yeah. He's doing it on purpose. Yeah, he is. He's doing it's like Shakespeare acting in a, in a park. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> It's like the mics are down, but nobody cares. Oh, Harambe's gone. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, couldn't be helped. Oh, it's... I hate to interrupt Troy, but I'm going to go to Clint, uh, who's on yeah. the phone. By the way, Troy didn't even put where Clint is from. Uh, what's up, Clint? <laughs> uh, from Alabama, guys. Thank God Hello. you're there. Guys, I've called in a million times and never defended Troy in my life. Okay, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's not something I long for or wanted to do, mm -hmm. but he's right. I live in Publix land, and I've been to Wegmans a million times. Publix is the most awesome store ever. Wow. Yeah. i got to check out a Publix. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Clint. I'm so easily influenced. I'm thinking I want a Wegmans sub very badly. Wegmans is good. Yeah, Wegmans is real good. I bet, I bet Jersey Mike's subs are better. That's what they do. That's what's, their what's special. Yeah. I Nothing. guess so. Although they might have very fresh food at a Wegmans. You never they know. Do. I mean, yeah, it's all prepared. Yeah. A sub is not exactly rocket science. It's a fucking two pieces of bread. Unless you're in Subway, where they manage to butcher it. It's crazy. <laughs> I would literally rather take... You don't take like a, Subway? I would rather take two pieces of bread and put them around a shoe and eat it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's even bread, right? Well, that's the controversy. It's not good. The tuna's not that tuna? That fucking mm. paper on the meat. Oh. They oh. say it is tuna, but... Yeah, tastes good to me. I've yeah, had, I've had their tuna. I like Subway. Horrible. I love, I love tuna. And it's actually one piece of bread just cut into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the middle. It's just not a good place. <laughs> it's not a good it's place. Not a good, <laughs> not a good place at all. <laughs> I could go for Jersey Mike's though. Me mm. too. Talking about it, uh. fat tits and all. <laughs> fat tits and all. I could go for it. I mean, if you're placing an order, hit me with one of those there's, chicken cheese things. There isn't one in the city. I remember we talked about this before. Can you hop on a boat? I would, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring you guys some Jersey Mike's. Nothing in Manhattan, huh? I don't want a Jersey Mike's that's been sitting in your house all night no, that's a good between point. two couch cushions. That's where you keep them, you think? <laughs> yeah, you just forget it's there because yeah. he's dumb. He is. You put it on the couch and fall asleep <laughs> playing fucking Lady what of Narnia. Like Christopher? <laughs> <laughs> God, the sub went back to <laughs> Maybe it wanted to get warm. You're trying to eat your sub. It's got his fucking asshole print in it. Yeah, I wouldn't like his that. cheeks. <laughs> 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 All right, Alex in Long Island uh, has a different opinion. What's up, Alex? What's up, guys? I just want to say that Wegmans is the mecca of food stores. Like, I've been to Stop and Shop, Publix, K 
Caldor back in the day. Caldor. Like, come on. Wow. Okay. All right. So one for yeah. Wegmans. Caldor's not a food store, sir. No, it's not. I've worked there. Oh, I meant, I meant Pathmark. I'm sorry. Okay, oh. yeah. Yeah. No, I believe Wegmans is better than Pathmark. And uh, look, I've been to Wegmans and had these unbelievable experiences, but I have not been to a public, so I can't speak on that. Stop and Shop was never known to be a great food place. No, it was. It had what you needed. It was that okay, was, yeah. Was fine. I worked at Stop and Shop, I believe, at one point. I think that's the only food place I've worked in. But you're not going to get... Like, that's not a great spot to no, stop and get lunch. I don't think, you, I don't remember anything about it other than my friend Marvin calling it stop and plop, and I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. I mean, it's one of the funnier things, for yeah. sure. Stop and plop. Yeah. This is genius. <laughs> yeah, because it rhymes. Yeah. You know? And it means you're shitting. Oh, my God. That works on two levels. Yeah. When you're 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. That joke rules. And it carries with you. It does. Yeah. 53, and I can't stop smiling. You repeat it to people. Mm -hmm. well, I think it when I drive by. You do? Fucking 40 years later, stop and plop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just there. <laughs> we, have, um, we have some new production. Oh, good. At the start. Oh. There's a new... Uh, there's a new uh, uh, show that there are, are, are stingers for. Do you want to hear... You want to hear one of the stingers? We got two stingers for a new show sure. that was yeah, uh, yeah. developed yesterday. All right. <laughs> it's fun, right? Yeah. Altitude. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. So. Matt Flyer. Yeah. <laughs> we should take a break. We yeah. got uh, other ones. Huh? There was other ones, too. Yeah? <laughs> Troy Troy wants to hear more of his handiwork, I guess. What, uh, what's going on with Troy in there, Mike? How's he? He's got a, a shit-eating grin on his face. He, <laughs> he seems to be in a good mood. I don't know, man. I feel like Troy's in a good mood like uh, like uh, Heath Ledger as the Joker was in a good yeah. mood. You know what I mean? Like, he's just smiling, but what the hell is he smiling at? Uh, the show could use an agent of chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Troy's like, uh, Troy's not too far from a total breakdown, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can you, yeah. you can sense that? Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 It's cold again. That's right. He had a nice, uh, nice thing going in Florida. Yeah, he cold. did. We were all home. Then he had to move up during a flood. Stuck in that room. I think he feels underutilized. Well, yeah, at home, I mean, he had everything right in, I mean, again, it was a different setup when you're home, but at least you're spread out a little bit. Troy, grab, grab some food. Troy, would you like to move back to the couch? Yeah, give me the okay, and I'm gone. No, it's the couch. I said, not the oh, floor. Like, <laughs> this is how bad he wants out of here. <laughs> taking a call, and the mic's over there, and I can't really hear what's going on. So, oh, you got headphones or no? I mean, they're on, but gotcha. They're, they're low. I mean, turn them up. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's been suggested that you turn the, the headphones up. Didn't think of that. Mm. Go ahead, talk. <laughs> check, check, check. He's new to audio. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Mike making fun of him in there. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> what, happened, what happened, buddy? Troy? What happened? The tums fell. Ah, oh, I hate to hear that. <laughs> you, the tums fell. <laughs> the tums fell. Troy's getting acid indigestion oh, no. from the stress. I was at a moment of stress. I don't. I don't know. What's the matter? My roll aids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're not gonna play the other pieces. But there's a mic over there. I mean, I don't know why he refuses. Rest, yeah. I don't know why he refuses to talk into the mic. There was two other pieces. I mean, weren't they like the same? Yeah. No. That's why we chose those two. All right. Let's hear one. Troy I mean, seems I, to be pushing. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're exactly the same. So, yeah, that's why we were just like, okay, we made some versions. These are the ones that will... Okay, no, you're right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Travis is the boss. I think Troy needs a weekend in Florida, don't you? <laughs> I was hoping he would join me. When are you go? Oh, yeah, you're already back. Yeah. Fuck. Troy has had it. Yeah. He's that had it. Great. Just wait till it starts snowing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a little warmer today, Troy. Smaller apartment. No, oh, way small smaller. Small room. Instead of that big house, nice weather, it's going to be cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cats are just like, go out. 
and do stuff. Mm-mm. It's too cold. You can't go for a nice warm bike ride in your no. shorts with a pair of shades. Yeah, you looking can do at that in Florida. Tits. Yeah. You have to wear underwear here. Yeah. That's true. Because otherwise true. your privates get too cold. They sure do. Not in Florida, though. Not at all. There's not one crane when Troy gets up in the morning and looks out the window. He sees no cranes. He yep. sees, like, mechanical cranes, yep. but no birds. When are you going back, Troy, for a little weekend? As soon as possible. You miss it, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's hard not to miss that nice weather, I'm of sure. Of course. Especially because I could do this job there. I mean, <laughs> who who's making you stay, Troy? Am I free to go? What are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you guys. Why would I give a fuck where you are? <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to McClure then. Yeah, of course. I don't. I don't care. I've never. I mean, I wanted. To, I I advocated for you to sit on the couch all day. What do I? What do I care? Whatever well, I mean, anybody I mean, is. People got upset about that. Who did? What? Who got upset about that? I don't think Jim was too happy about that the other day. Jim was upset that you were on the couch? I was upset you were on the couch. Were you mad, Jim? No. (laughs) You weren't? No. Did you complain to the bosses? No. I don't know. He's on the couch again. God damn it. (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) He's he's on the goddamn couch again. (laughs) No, the way we're set up here, it's hard for everybody to have a mic in front of them. and it's, It's difficult because of the way this studio is. It's hard to get everybody in fucking, you know. But you didn't run upstairs and tell the bosses Troy was on the couch? I forgot he was on the couch. <laughs> you weren't upset about it? No. <laughs> Troy, is that surprising to you that Jim was in, not actually upset about you being on the couch? Yes. <laughs> it's a surprise. What made you think I was mad to be on the couch? I didn't say I was mad to no, be on the couch. I'm very annoyed. No, oh, no. So I was like, let me get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little surprised. You might have misread me. I don't, I don't believe I was annoyed. Sometimes I worry that Troy uh, might get into arguments with people in his head. You know what I mean? And like, no, the whole thing's made up. No, you know, like there's, but then he takes that out into the real world, right? Like there's a tension that exists in Troy's head, and then it, and then it goes with him, and then he acts like the tension is due to other people when in fact he made the whole thing up in his head. Yeah. Okay. Is that possible, do you think, or no way? Maybe. Maybe. Say no. If he could spell, he'd write an amazing manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Troy would write a manifesto like the Zodiac Killer, but it wouldn't be meant to be, you know. Well, yeah, yeah. People would try. The reason it'd be <laughs> this so... This must be a code. <laughs> so, no. No, it'd be so hard to decode because people are like, I think I cracked the code, but that's not how you spell this word. <laughs> this can't be the code. No, no. Should we break? What time is our guest? 9.30. Oh, yeah, we should break. Hey, let's take a break, Ski. Troy can look up uh, plane tickets. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll be back with Chris Stefano. Yep. Stay right there. Yep. The people that filmed this woman being raped on a train in Philly? No. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't. I yeah, don't it's think. a big story. It's like... Uh, oh, was that the story where they didn't help? They just filmed? Yeah, but oh, that's I, terrible. Here's what I, I want to know. Yeah. Did they know she was being raped or did they just think there was two people having sex on the train? Like, do they. I have no idea. I really don't that know much about the story. He said it was consensual. Yeah, but I don't know if I believe him because she's saying it wasn't. Well, sometimes the complaints will be false. That is true. That's true. Sometimes. But were they filming because they thought two people were having sex oh. or they say, hey, we know this is a, a crime being committed and we're filming it? Um. Yeah, because I don't necessarily believe the headline until I know what... I would love to hear from one of those uh, passengers. It says he he harassed the woman, groped her, and then raped her, and fellow passengers watched the assault. Through more than two dozen train stops. That seems weird that nobody would intervene. Not that people are brave, Mm -hmm. but that nobody would do something if they knew that that was an assault and a bunch of people would just film it. I I don't, not that I underestimate how shitty people can be. That would mean that she wouldn't have been objecting though, right? Yeah, I don't know if she was or not, but I just don't, I don't know. Terrible story. Yeah, there's a movie called The Incident with, uh, it's like Martin Sheen's first movie and Tony Masanti and Jeff Bridges where there, it's all these people on a train car and they're being harassed by Martin Sheen and uh, Tony Masanti are like local toughs and how nobody intervenes for each other. Like nobody sticks up for people being hassled. Because one person doesn't, so the rest of the group doesn't. It's really, and yeah. it's a really good 
but it's like uh, they're an Ed McMahon from the Tonight Show is in it, and they're going person to person hassling them, and uh, all the other passengers just become like isolated and meek, and everyone sees these two guys, and the men on the train could easily overthrow them, and they yeah. just don't. Yeah, yeah, Ruby D is in it. Brock Pete. This really good, uh, good cast. Hmm. Yeah, the incidents from like nineteen sixty seven. Yeah, I don't anyway, know. I'm just curious about this. There's something about this headline that doesn't feel right, um, but maybe it is. Yeah, terrible story either way. Yeah. He's yeah. illegal. He's like from Congolese. He's overstayed, like, uh, I think overstayed a student visa. Have you seen that they've said that uh, our guy, Alex Murdaugh, that we've been talking about? The guy he's with innocent. The, it's really great. I mean, that's not what I read. Oh, sorry. Different article. Okay, so he's the guy who... Uh, had you know his family? What's where they from again? South Carolina. That's where I thought I was going to say. South legal Carolina. dynasty. Yeah, this legal dynasty. Uh, maybe she wasn't like was she yelling help me or saying something or like did they know that they were filming something that was a crime or did they just think hey we're watching to be love sex? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. In South Carolina, who like uh, first they were connected with some weird hit and run that maybe wasn't a hit and run. Then he was trying to cover up his drunk son crashing a boat, and he hired a hitman to murder him. Like there's a lot of pronouns going on, but uh, wife and the son were shot, brutally shot in their yes. yard, and, he, and then he uh, his young son Paul, who would get drunk and be Timmy, 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 and then uh, <laughs> and then and then his wife and son died, and then a hitman to murder him. Like there's a lot of pronouns going on, but uh, wife and the son were shot, brutally shot in their yes. yard, and he found them. He found them, and Alex hired. A hitman to kill Alex, to kill himself. Uh, but the hitman failed, and that's how he got busted for all this. Um, and well, there was the hitman also. Said, I'm sorry, the hitman said, is denying that, and said, no, 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 he was on the side of the road with a gun, and he stopped it, and that was why the gun went off. It was a very bad excuse by the alleged hitman. It's a very bad excuse. <laughs> I, a very thin excuse. Yeah. That was like the, oh, the old Robert Durst excuse. He ended up getting off for it, but the murder of his neighbor. Where he, his neighbor was yeah. killed, but he said that his cranky old man neighbor came over and they got into an altercation, and that his his cranky old man neighbor took his gun, and pointed it. And when Robert tried to push it away from him, Robert's gun went off and killed the neighbor. Yeah, that's flimsy. It's a flimsy excuse. Flimsy. It worked for Robert at the time. Yep. Um, but yeah. So now, and there's also don't forget a ton of financial misdoings that are being looked into, Whoa. personal and business related. His uh, housekeeper died, and there was a big housekeeper settlement. Housekeeper died, yeah. The lawyer he got for her family was more loyal to him than the fucking family, and he, this piece of shit kept $3 million that her family should have gotten. Yes. It's a wild story that we've, uh, we've covered in depth, uh, if you want to yeah. go back a couple shows. But uh, being brought up today because uh, he's now in custody... Is he? He's in custody for the financial crimes, right? Not like he. They haven't been able to tie him specifically to the murder of the wife and son. I definitely don't think he shot. And them. for the and for the hiring the hitman to kill him. Not yet, but that that one they're probably going to get. They have not charged him with that yet. I though? don't know. I think he was arrested, but he was released, and but, then he went to rehab. Right, and he said no, no, no. <laughs> yep. Right, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then when he left rehab, he got arrested for this. But for the, the wife financial and, stuff. It's yes. a series of unfortunate events. The wife and the son, <laughs> they probably suspect, but it's like there's no proof yet, and that's there's no way he did it because they would have found... I'm sure that you have to hope they, they checked his fingers and stuff for that shit that happens when you fire a gun. The, yeah, the powder. The powder, um, yeah. Yeah, but there's. I think there's a good chance if I'm an investigator that I'm looking into whether he hired somebody to do yeah. it. That's the question, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that... Uh, I think that they got a bunch of stuff, mainly because he asked for bail. You know, he wanted bail to be like, I'd like to leave now. And yep. first of all, they were like, no, of course not. Like, if anybody was ever a flight risk. But the way they described it was, well, we're not going to give him bail because the charges that we have on him that are announced is, quote, the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> Meaning, apparently, there's just a ton of shit that they have on him now. What a bad guy. Terrible. And he's great hair though. His hair like Ted Koppel. He really <laughs> what just a goddamn just a, hair he has. just a thick 
full head of hair. He's not a great head of hair for uh, his age. A good Robert Redford uh, do. Uh, there was a time where I'd be very, very jealous of that hair. Yep. Not anymore. I like shaving my head now. But yep. back in the day, oh my God. Oh, happy Anxiety Wednesday, everybody. Hey, hey Chris. Chrissy up, D buddy? is here. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. What's going on, buddy? Hey, how you doing? Have Very you been good. Have you been keeping up with this uh, Alex Murdoch character? Who's Alex Murdoch? Oh, he's the uh -huh. guy with the hair here. But what did he do again? Well, I mean, what didn't he do? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a very naughty boy. Oh. <laughs> very, very poorly behaved. Denied bail. Uh, what did he Oh, stole funds from the friend well, they've made? He, he embezzled money. He hired a hitman to kill himself. Uh, That's smart. His he, wife and son were shot in the face. Yeah. Oh, I did hear about this. His yes. son crashed a boat. Yes. His housekeeper died. Yeah. Uh, there was some gay kid that was killed he, that they think was a hit, a beating, not a hit and run, that his son may or may not have been involved. It's a whole thing. But he's still alive. He's still alive. Yes. But he just went to, They. we were talking about him because yesterday he asked for bail because they right now he's charged with the financial crimes. Right. But they've let him know that bail is a bad idea, number one, because he's a flight risk, because he's a maniac, but mainly because they're describing the charges against him as the tip of the iceberg. So what did he, yeah, in bail, he killed like three people. Maybe. Killed Maybe. that, all that. Yeah, dude, he should have, if he was in New York, he'd be out in a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think so? Pussy mayor would just let him right out. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't know yet. We yeah. don't know. I'm a big de Blasio guy, though. You're I think a fan. He's great. Yeah, I yeah. love him. Dude, I, th I heard he just said uh, November first all the cops and firemen have to get vaccines that should work yeah <laughs> yeah that, well they he's he's supported them this whole time so yeah. much that they're gonna follow yeah they this, love him yeah this will be good man yeah. <laughs> well in chicago they're about to lose like half their police force and Lori lightfoot who everybody hates everybody well, she everybody really is a pile her. of shit yeah she's the worst uh, well she tried to she got the vaccine cowboy didn't she, she yes. sucks yeah. she stinks i one time was at uh the ymca in park slope Brooklyn, and that's where he lives, Mayor de Blasio. This was seven, eight years ago, mm -hmm. and he would go on the elliptical, mm -hmm. right? Like just like you know, with like a like just a cuck, like on the <laughs> elliptical, like you know, like that's like women's equipment. You know, like when guys are on that, just like a loser pussy. Yeah. And he would have his two security guards stand on either side of him, like watching, facing out, looking at the gym. You know, whatever. He's the mayor of New York, I guess. And then one time I was there. I swear to God, I was there. I was like doing abs or something, and two like Brooklyn old. Old school beef, like Colin Quinn guys, because Colin Quinn's from old school Park Slope. Like guys his age, his generation, he probably knew them, walked by and were like, de Blasio, you fucking pussy. <laughs> they were like, you ruined this goddamn city. And his security guards were just holding in the laughter. It was the funniest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. I forgot what they were saying, but they were annihilating him. And he was just on the elliptical with his headphones like he's a dumb Mets fan, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, uh, just a and pussy. You know, but you know he heard. Oh, you know yeah. he could hear. 100%. 100%. Do you... Is there anything more humiliating than having to ride the elliptical next to two big beefy security guards? Oh, like God. you know, those two are not riding the elliptical. I no way, dude. As soon and every time he came into the gym, it was like a lot of hoopla because it's like you know, securities. The mayor shows up in an SUV, but people, you know, hated him. And I was like, dude, you're just gonna walk and do all the women's equipment. Like, just go take an aerobics <laughs> class, <laughs> take a Pilates. You absolute pussy. <laughs> the women's <equipment. laughs> yeah. There's a women's section of the gym, and, and that's where you're at every time. <laughs> that's where he would be, De Blasio, the silver sneakers class. Do you think, you think he, the police like him? I, truthfully, I mean, I, I'm sure there's got to be some cops that do, but I, I, I think it's like, I think it's to the point, truthfully, where obviously we're in a civilized society, but like, you know, like in the French Revolution, when mm -hmm. like they just beheaded the le the leaders, like mm -hmm. I think it's teetering on that if we weren't as civilized, like I bet you the anger fever pitch in history was like, this is what it felt like, or like the Civil War. Like, like, he's probably lucky it's yeah. an election year. Yeah, like that he's gonna be able to get the hell out of here. That's what people are like. Get him out, yeah. you know, and and he'll be he'll be fine. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, Eric Adams, uh, the the new mayoral candidate, he already came on my podcast, and then we tried to get Curtis Silwa on my podcast. Sliwa, Sliwa, Silwa, Silwa. So, but you these, had Eric Adams on your podcast last year. So that's what oh. I'm waiting for. If he's because I want, I want, the, you know, it just for me now. This first of all, I moved to Staten Island. Shout out. So now it's we're just talking. About about how great yeah. Staten Island is. Yeah, Why did you move there? I love the boat. I need yeah, I, well, no, I needed a house for my kids. You room, know, I need okay. room and, you know, all that. So it's funny. It's funny to just live on, on Staten Island because, like, you know, everywhere else is, like, QR codes and vaccine mandates and all that. And I feel like they won't let you in if you are vaccinated. Like, if you show yeah. them, they're like, get out. Staten Island's like New York, Florida. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. where does Sal live? 
Staten Island. Th- that's why he moved. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sal yeah. yeah. said you're a little too far. And he goes, I, I move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny. It actually takes me longer to get to his house from Staten Island than it did from Brooklyn. But um, he he um, that was who cares about that? Point? <laughs> <laughs> we all do it. You give out information. Like, yeah, what what a dumb point. <laughs> he just really likes Sal. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You joke with the Metro cards. No, yeah. yeah. But if Eric Adams starts to get ahead a little bit yeah. in the in the mayoral race, I'm gonna start tweeting out some clips of him on my old show the history of hyenas and just really ruin them oh yeah yeah just yeah. really just some well, of the what was he doing like where did he come from i don't know anything yeah, who about picked him like, eric, uh, eric he, adams he was the brooklyn borough president so oh, we had oh, him so on zoom right. like right in the beginning of the pandemic mm. um we had him on a zoom it was a shitty zoom like you know we didn't even have you know bad wi-fi yeah so we had him on and you know he was good he was perfect but he was living in the in the in the office of the Brooklyn Borough President, he had like a mattress, and oh you my know, God. he was living in it, and he was saying it's because like it was like a thing for, um, you know, just to show like how much he loves Brooklyn and solidarity. But then we found out that he was going through a divorce with his wife, but, <laughs> uh, but he was, <laughs> but he was trying to keep it quiet. Did you like him? I actually did like yeah. him. Yeah, I did like him. I, I. I you know, but it's just like it's one of those things where I mean, I'm not a political guy at all. But mm-hmm. now, like you know, he came have, in here shooting, shooting yeah. live rounds at De Blasio. Yeah. For somebody oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But to De Bla- no, I hate De Blasio. I'll okay. say that. But I'm not. <laughs> but I don't. I just he's just a his name's what's his real name? William Wilhelm or something dumb? That's right. He's he got a name. stupid yeah. f- name that I hate. And then he tried to make himself Italian. It's like you're not one of us, um, but he he. Meanwhile, I'm mostly German um, on Ancestry.com. Yeah, uh, Warren, Will, Warren Wilhelm. Warren Wilhelm Jr. And he changed it because to try to De Blasio's like more. Wait, he changed. Oh, De Blasio's not even his real last. It's, it's, it's not his real name. Warren Wilhelm. De, wait, go go up to Travis. Oh, Warren De Blasio Wilhelm. Oh, later Warren De Blasio. Wow. Well, well. Yeah, he was born w- Warren Wilhelm Jr. Yeah. Warren Wilhelm. Did his parents change his name when he was a kid, or did he change his name as an adult? Or we haven't looked in that Warren. far. Warren. I don't know. I don't know. Wh- I don't know. I like when that. The you were like, did. fuck this guy for this reason. And I'm like, do you know about it? And you're like, I haven't really nope. looked into it. No, nope. my dad just said he sucks, so therefore he sucks. <laughs> Does your dad live in Staten Island, too? Oh, he moved to Florida. My dad's, yeah. My That's dad- your next step. No, I, I could never leave New York. I had to go to L.A. for four months, and I literally was contemplating suicide. You didn't like it? I just hate not being in New York, even though I know New York's not the same, and I get all that, but I just love being here. I like a trip to LA once. I like a nice, like it feels like vacation. I like yeah. to go out there and just kind of hang out when you're doing something. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, um, but months, a car four for you. months, that's is a long time. Tough. Would, long also, time. at this point, because I thought about you while you were doing that, because you were out there doing the Build a Bar show, Backyard Bar Wars show on True TV, fucking stinks. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that good. Oh God! <laughs> no, I was, I was, that I was, was so honest. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about you, and I was looking at the commercials, and you're like, "Hey, we're building bars in people's backyards." I was like, "Okay." I was thinking about your the CBS pilot and everything, and then I was thinking about everything you're doing, Chrissy Chaos, yeah, and 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 everything you're doing outside of it. Yeah. And I feel like that you're wrestling between two identities right now. You have all this <laughs> wild shit that you want to do. Yeah. But then for some reason, you still think you got to be network Chrissy every now and then. Yeah. It's like, it's one of those things where I think there's still that thing, you know, because I started comedy like 2009, 2010, where it's like, oh, get on TV. Things will be better. And then I did it finally. Yeah. First show. And I was like, oh, this is literally just making my podcast harder. Like this, <laughs> right. just, this just makes me. Film. I'm tired doing my podcast, and now it's like for the first time, you know, really in my career, like the tickets are selling, you know, the podcast shows are going up, everything's going well, and I'm like, oh, TV will ruin this, you know? Because yeah, like, it's not like anybody's like you go, oh, where'd you like you go to your fans, like oh, where'd you find out about the gig? They're gonna say the podcast. They're not gonna go like, oh, no. I saw you building that backyard no bar. Dude. And they didn't even put my name on Backyard Bar Wars. It was just like True TV. Like, nobody even knew I was on it until, like, you just were watching the Impractical Jokers and then fell asleep and woke up and saw me with a fucking tool. (laughs) Yeah, I get that. That's 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 the problem with a True TV show. It's like, you get it, and you're like, oh, this is great news. But in all honesty, whenever anything comes on True TV that's not Impractical Jokers, yeah, I go like this. 
the fuck? Yeah, dude. Even I was saying that throughout. They had to tell me to stop saying that because I was like, <laughs> they were like, I would say it on interviews. I went on Access Hollywood and they were like, were you excited to be the host of Backyard Bar Wars? And I was like, I just think one of the Impractical Jokers wasn't available and that's why they picked me. <laughs> and they were like, that can't be true. You're talented. I was like, I'm really not though. And I don't know how to build anything. So I don't know why I'm the host of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I do a podcast with a transgender person. I'd like to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's that's, your host? Who's your host? Well, the the Chrissy Chaos podcast, I do it not. He's my, but T.T. Jerry. T.T. Jerry is, by the way, a phenomenon. Uh, pheno uh, dude, phenom. You, I, here's, here's what's beautiful about Chrissy Chaos. Yes. You're not trying to become a star. Right. You're making stars. That's what it is. That's, That's what, what I like it. about TT's it. a star now. That's what I like. I got, I do Hey Babe with Sal Volcano where I have to be, you know, you know, you have to be more, I'm more like, um, you know, where we actually try on purpose to be like clean. We try to, yes. just as like a challenge, it's very, very, very difficult. We For the first 20 episodes, we're really doing well, but now we just go off the rails a little bit. Lots of ble bleeping. No, but we're even stopping that. I'm like, let's just rip it. And they're like, fine. But Chrissy Chaos was always just, I'm starting this, my own thing. And now it's morphed into TT Jerry, who's my uh, girlfriend's transgender uncle uncle who was in prison for 25 years she is my co-host uh, not my co-host she comes on once in a while but i i have it her seems on like she's on most episodes i was gonna say yeah. i have her on at least once a month just yeah. because at the she's she's like um my sometimes sidekick co-host but she's gotten so much better yeah. from episode one to now sure. that it's like you know i'm like hey i've talked to the guy who runs my podcast the homeless pimp who's probably listening right now shout out um shout out he um he uh he was like yeah dude i think we should have her on all the time so she's great yeah She's great, and also it just adds that element. Like I was even in the clip, like just last night, I was watching the clip that you posted of you yeah. and Ricky Velez and yeah. TT Jerry, and I'm like, this is a fucking fever dream. Yeah, and I've only watched one minute of it. Yeah, dude, it's so, and it's so funny too because all like you know, like because TT, you would think like having like a transgender Puerto Rican woman, it might invite some more like liberal minded people into yeah. the podcast, and it does not. No, because TT is an outright TT has said. Time and time, she's like, in prison, everybody voted for Trump. Everybody wanted Trump. You were a <laughs> pussy if you didn't like Trump. So she comes in. So she de defies, like, because you would think, like, oh, she, tra you know, she is not what Hollywood wants. Hollywood's like, no, 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 this is a bad move. Yeah. She's ethnic. She's trans. She's gay. But she's not saying anything that they want them to say. She's saying the opposite. So it's like, what do we do? Is that TT yeah. right there? That's TT Jerry. Jerry. Okay. Yeah, she had, uh, yeah. So does she dress up? Because right there, she says she to be dressed. Well, I said, I said, because she, she, she didn't know she was going to be on the podcast. She was actually cleaning my house. And then I told her to come on, and, she's, and, and I was like, "You showed up with tits in a five o'clock shadow." And she was like, "And she was like, I know. I feel so embarrassed." And, but but normally when she comes on, she's dressed to the nines. Oh yeah. And the thing that I do love about Chrissy Chaos is the crew. That's you know, it's it's TT Jerry, homeless pimp. Like when I bring them, when we go on the road, like they get bigger applauses than I do. Like when I bring them out, so I'm like, oh, this is cool. You know, I'm gonna be fucking in last place in my own life again, but who gives yeah. a shit? You're gonna be the star maker. Yeah. You're gonna be that executive that's like, you're not, you know what I mean? Like you're not, you're, you're yeah. that like old school recording industry executive that right. like, you know, you're not the one with the hit singles, right? but you're taking all their money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what yeah. I'm trying Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to take all your money. <laughs> how do you, where do you put your dates? So scroll up a little bit. I want to see how you, you said Fox was this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. You put that uh, in, in a tweet. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, I put, well, you know, anytime, you know, if I have a, like an impending show like Foxwoods or, you a know, Foxwoods this Saturday. <laughs> yeah. What? Impending is usually a negative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking Foxwoods, damn it. We'll have fun there. <laughs> but I yeah. think tickets are sold out. Yeah. Or close to it, which is nice. Well, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you right now that uh, uh, Chrissy D, Chris Stefano, and Sal Volcano are going on the road together. Yes. A night of stand-up comedy, babes. Yeah. The tour. The tour. Okay? Yes. And this is coming uh, to North Carolina. This is going to Texas, St. Louis, Ohio, Cincinnati, and that's all through October and into December. Um, the pre-sale starts today. Where can you get tickets? Um, ChristyComedy.com or SalVolcanoComedy.com and pre-sale code is ba uh, babe. Now are you, so with this partnership, because mm -hmm. it sounds like at first, like you said, you're keeping the podcast clean. Right. And you were also just starting your, I'm going to build a bar in your backyard show. Right. So you were kind of inching into his world. Right. It sounds to me like maybe through this tour and where the podcast is evolving, now you're bringing Sal more into feeling comfortable because he's been a stand-up for so long. Yes. Into the stand-up world, don't be defined by the jokers. Yes. Is yeah. that what's going on? Um, I mean, I haven't thought about it that way, but I, I definitely think like, you know, 
as the, uh, the Hey Bay pod has, is evolving, it's more like, because the thing, Chrissy Chaos is like moving fast now, you know, yes. because I think ultimately people, they just want something real. Now they're yeah, like, yeah. I don't want to, I don't, I can't do knock, knock jokes. Like, you yes. know what I mean? Like, tell me about how you really feel. So that's, we do more of that on chaos and Hey Babe's more stories, but the recent episodes of Hey Babe have been like really like more open, crazy stories, like not even worrying about who's clean, who's not. And then the stand up did one show at the Lyric Theater in Baltimore and we just treated it like a regular stand up show and the crowd had a really good time. Yeah, that's it's great. hard to say. It's hard, like especially on a podcast, if you're like, I got to be clean, then you're going to miss some like, fuck, that's really funny. There's no way to say that clean. Yeah. And it's just also like, I've realized now too, it's like, I don't even, like if I say something about somebody, even that like, I know I just leave it in. Cause I'm like, dude, everybody's going to get mad at you anyway. Like That's right. I'm just kidding around. So like, if you're going to be a pussy, yeah. then like, just shut up. I don't care. I used to like, be like, I have to defend, you know, protect everyone. And I don't want them to be mad at me. And now it's like, you can go fuck yourself, dude. It's a <laughs> pandemic. I got to pay for TT Jerry's tits. I know. I know. It's a lot. <laughs> Do you yeah. have any attraction for TT Jerry? No, you know what? I don't. But when she's turned around, when she's when her and my girlfriend are facing the same way, it's a little difficult at times to tell who's who because they both have nice fat asses. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's something that TT will be thrilled to hear. Your girlfriend not as pleased. <laughs> <laughs> I've told her that before already. <laughs> yeah, she. Um. Yeah. No. How's she doing with like the whole like bringing so much of work? Because you know we experienced that sure. with you a little bit very early oh, yes. in the pandemic. Yeah. Where it was like everybody was trying to figure out. You were just back together with yeah. her. They can hear you. Everybody <laughs> was trying to figure out work life balance. Yeah. You got into a little bit of a a, a squirmish. A tiff. A tiff. Yeah. Tiff. A tiff, a tiss. I said a tiss. <laughs> yeah. a tiss, tiss. She, um, she's good now. You know why? Because because it's one of those things where I think what's happened to you throughout, I guess, the pandemic and all that is we've both just like let go. We're both like there's so much stress around everything else where it's just like who fucking cares if yeah. I, you know, like we have a house, we have a beautiful house, our kids are well taken care of. Yeah, like everybody. Just shut up, like, and just like we're doing fine. Like I was like, you know, I was like, do not what we're what I'm doing in my career is going to help our kids, hopefully, like immensely. So just leave me alone. Yeah, and she really has, and and I support her and what she's doing. She supports me and what I'm doing. And you know, I'm uh, I'll probably be thrown out of the house any day. But what can you do, what dude? You, you got to put your foot down sometime. It's like in relationships, the yeah. person gets mad. You got like, hey, do you like eating out? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, this is what it takes. Yeah, you. I just got you windows from Renewal by Anderson. They're oh wow, that's expensive. nice. So that's shut nice. up. What are Renewal by Anderson? My windows are shit. Go to Renewal by Anderson if you want to. Get charged two thousand a window. <laughs> <laughs> Expensive. Exp I got. It was one of those things where I tweeted it out. Hey, renewal by Anderson. Like, thanks for the you know whatever I said. And then people just started berating me. Like, you got fucking scammed. Uh. I could have sold you a window, you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they were like, just. I just watched just as my heart sank after I just shelled out so much money and just all the comments and then the DMs from you know fans who are like window makers yeah. or construction guys. Like you idiot. You pay. Ten times as much, you dumb fucking corporate cuck. Well, what are you doing tweeting about these brands that you're paying for? Like, yeah. if you're going to send a tweet saying thank you, shouldn't you be uh, getting it on the arm? I should be. Or yeah, a little discount, a little, something. a little bit. A little I know. I, I hate to ask for it. I, mean, I I have a discount on Magic Spoon cereal. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> keto friendly, <laughs> keto friendly, 140 calories, 13 grams of protein. Oh wow! Use the promo code Chaos. Oh okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and keeps.com. <laughs> it keeps. Keeps it, it helps you grow grow your hair back. If you're yeah. losing your hair, oh, yeah. it helps grow it keeps. Yeah. Keeps. I I just got a clippers. Yeah. Yeah. I just cut it all off. I mean, it's, it works just this as well. This cereal is actually amazing, Magic Spoon. I'm being dead serious. Right, healthy well, I, cereal that tastes too good to be true. It I'll really does. Well, I'll tell you what. If they want to advertise here, then they could pay us. Yes. But they're not paying you. Are you on the Magic Spoon tour? Is that <laughs> this? Is no, this but I did. I did not, but that looks good. I did. I did have. I, I do go a little crazy sometimes with the promos. Even Jasmine had to sit me down once because like when my daughter, uh, my she's four months old now, but her um gender reveal video i made like we made like a, a video mm -hmm. for like my family and like gender reveal so they could see it and then it's i p plugged a magic spoon ad into it <laughs> 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 she was like you. she was like you ruined this beautiful thing she's like i sent it to my mother and she was like what's magic spoon honey there's magic spoon branding all over it because <laughs> me I, t I told homeless pimp at the last thing i said put in a fucking ad <laughs> let's make 130 dollars off my kid Good for you 
too. <laughs> There's some fucking great little treats there, though. Great flavors. Hell yeah, Hell yeah dude. This Rich Foss should have his landscaping video sponsored by Magic Spoon. Yeah. That they, would work. They're big podcast sponsors. Now, how are they, uh, how is it healthy? I don't know necessarily. Uh, yeah, it's just. No, but it's still like carbs and sugar, right? Well, it's 140 calories, but it's like 14 grams of protein. So it's, oh. you know, and almost no sugar. And like, I think like two net carbs or something. They tell you all about it. <laughs> Zero grams of sugar. <laughs> They'll four. let you know. Yeah, you look oh, it's that grain up. free you know. and gluten free. So you see the other cereals, you know, have all that other stuff. What? They're comparing it to like Reese's <laughs> Puffs. Yeah. Yeah. Just what's, fatty. Uh, what's going on with you and Joe DeRosa? There what? was a lot of hostility for a very long time. I've seen uh, it on social media. Joe DeRosa had launched his own Instagram show. Yeah. The uh, Dis Chris show, I believe it was. Dis Stefano. Dis Stefano. Yeah, yeah. He calls me a pig. You yeah. Know, I could have had it all. I fucking skyrocket with Hey Babe, me and Sal. But Sal's to dedicate half of his time to do taste buds right. with Joe DeRosa. I'm like, oh, you leech. Right. You fucking. I'm like, dude, the thing is with Joe, it's like either make sandwiches and be a sandwich shop owner and do or do comedy. But right. you absolutely can't do both. Right. He's you cannot do both. I like I Joe, but I've never seen a photo of Joe that wasn't awful. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the thing is with Joe, the thing that infuriates me about him is his sandwich tastes amazing. They're great. That's the problem with Joe is I want to hate him and be like, fuck you and hit him with a meatball sub. Right. But the meatball subs that he makes and tuna sub, they're so delicious. But maybe so that's the direction he goes in, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. See, that picture's not awful of him. He's got a little bit of a five o'clock shadow. I mean, it's not, you know, yes, it's not a, great. Not a good photo. It's not, yeah. good. It's not, it's not good. He's so, a good dresser. Is that where the... What? <laughs> <laughs> he's, no, women say he's a schnazzy dresser. Who I will does? say I've yeah, been who, say, who says he's a... What? Sh what? His aunt? Yeah. <laughs> My aunt he, goes to the, he finds the t-shirt stores, which which showcase yeah. his lack of shoulders better than any place else? He's vintage. He said he's been, he said he's been doing right. little shoulder workouts now. <laughs> <laughs> with little two-pound dumbbells. <laughs> no, Joe, I mean, the sandwiches are good, but yeah, dude, I got to deal with DeRosa. I got to deal with DeRosa daily, where which is the, fine. Where did the tension start? Is it because there's is there a podcast war for Sal Volcano's no. love? His no, we all mess around. Time. I, no, we all share a YouTube called the No, uh, no Pressure Network. We I all know I'm there all the time. We all share a YouTube, baby. No, 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 no. no we just I think we just um we just started calling each other pigs, and then it just uh, he grew into um De Stefano shitting. But I won't publicly shit shit on him back. He's like, come on, you should make a dis a De Rose or a De Bozo, and I'm like, nope, I won't stoop down to your level. So I just, you know, you. you're bigger man. You fly above it. You fly, I fly above, above it. it. Yeah, it's understandable. I'm gonna wait for the right until I'm on the right platform and just let it rip. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do want to go to his sandwich shop though because I've heard it's really good. It's great. It really Joey it, Roses. Yeah, it actually, and I think he's opening up another sandwich store in the Is Lower East Side. Is the store open yet or no? I don't think it's open yet. You can still catch it at the stand. That's where he sells his sandwiches. But he is going to be opening up uh, his store soon. And the sandwiches truly, they really are phenomenal. Even though as much as I want to just shit on him and call him a disgusting pig waste of life, his food that looks, looks fantastic. Good. That good. looks really yeah. good. Some Utz pretzel. Who doesn't oh. like a good... Utz is a great brand. Nice German brand. Uts. Yeah. Utz. Glory days. Yeah. yeah. Well, That's a good I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get behind everything. No. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> no, it was innovative. I meant since, yeah, the Berlin Wall came down. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Since 89, they've been terrific. Yeah, it's West you. Germany. Yeah. Oh, okay. I oh. gotcha. I got gotcha. you. Uh, uh, uh. I, uh, I was watching something the other day. Um, do you know that back in the day, like when Germans, you know, Ger a lot of people, and I get why they don't, but a lot of people, a lot of people don't know that when Germany, like when the war ended, World War II ended, German soldiers who were like going back home to their countries or back to Germany, they got the shit kicked out of them. They got persecuted. They were fucking just treated like no jobs, nothing. Wait, was it because they had what they had done to Jews or was it by other Germans because they lost? I think both. It was the Jews were like, we'll never talk to you again. And the, which I guess. And yeah. the, and the, and the, uh, other Germans were like, yeah, you lose or whatever. But it's like to be a Ger like the, all draw. They started using meth. They started like big meth heads. Yeah. All like, yeah, it was bad. I don't so know why I brought your, that up. Your thing is like you feel bad for the Nazis. Yes. No. Y yes. But here's the thing. Here's 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 the tricky tricky thing with the Nazi is a lot of there were a lot of bad. ones. Don't get me wrong. Hey. There was a lot of bad ones. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bad always, ones. You should always lead with that. There yeah. were a lot of pieces of shit. But there was also a percentage of 
German uh, Nazis that didn't want to do anything. They just put got a gun put to them and said, either you fight with us mm -hmm. or we're going to kill you and your family. But they didn't want to do that shit. Yeah, and a lot of them didn't even know that the Holocaust was happening. The, it wasn't like a known thing amongst the entire army. Right. Some had no idea. They were like, oh, shit. I mean, I'm not saying they were fucking wouldn't yeah. have supported it, but they didn't know. So That's just fact. That's so just you're history. not going to do another season of Backyard Bar Wars? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's no. over. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not coming out pro-Nazi. I'm not coming out pro-Nazi. <laughs> it sounds it kind of comes. Let's yeah. say sympathetic the only too. positive thing about the Nazis was they had very nice Hugo Boss design uniforms. We okay, spoke so about that. Yeah. So far, the well, they were good dressers. They were good. They were good dressers, but I think they're horrible people. I don't support anything they did, except the say, ones that didn't know. The ones that didn't know. I mean, you know, you don't know. You don't know. And they should have got jobs when they went home. They should have got jobs when they got yeah, when they got fair home. Fair enough. You know, that's all I'm saying. Chris doesn't like the fact no. that the Nazis were unemployable. Yeah, yeah you know, I'll call it. You know, but that's where you're gonna. So like, there's like a big scandal that like there were a lot of like Nazi scientists and stuff that were brought in sent to. NASA and stuff like that. You're very pro that. That well, the the you know the, the thing getting to space. Um, what's his name? Von. Um, I'm blanking on his name, but yeah, that V2 rocket. Von Helsing. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. Theo Von. <laughs> <laughs> Von De Carlo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he. They, they, yeah. They, they. They like. Yeah. Made NASA. So I mean, what can you do? I mean, listen. It's right. just tricky things in history. You know. It's tricky. I don't make the rules. No. That's true. I just try to read the books. And I'm right. all for using the technology. Like, if a guy knows how to make a plane, I don't, you know, you got to use him. Yeah. Right. I think so. Sure. Right. I mean, you know, like, fucking, you get fine ways around it. I mean, yeah, yeah hey, we'll see what happens. <laughs> sure. We'll wrong. see what happens. You're not I edited a, Yeah, I edited a show in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Chris's solo days, because we talked about yes. uh, A Night of Stand-Up Comedy Babes. That pre-sale starts today. You can go to Chris D Comedy for all of the Night of Stand-Up Comedy Babes pre-sales but the solo dates Flaxwoods on Friday that might be sold out we don't Saturday know. I think it's Saturday no it's Friday it says uh, it says the Sears showroom Friday but that could be incorrect let's no yeah I think the show I mean it's I Friday trust, I trust Chris that would be over great Travis. if you I probably made it incorrect oh, it's yeah. Saturday October 23rd oh what a fucking idiot. is October 23rd Saturday yeah it's a Saturday yeah what all right ass. but wow. there's a low ticket alert so it wow. doesn't even my, yeah. my, my shows all say that but it says quality quality I know you can only <laughs> buy alert. like one ticket at a time it's just I was impressed that I could sell tickets Nas is performing there too I was like oh okay. is that right yeah hmm. okay. well Salt Lake City Wise Guys November yeah. 4th through 6th Wilbur in Boston November 21st yeah, you can only get one ticket. I mean, who's single. going to buy single, themselves? That's great. But that's, it's like, yeah, but then. But that's because that's all that's available. I know, but that's like, good news. I know, but it's like, you know, well, who's going to buy that? Then they'll just sit unsold. Well, what are they going to do? Move people around? Yeah. People yeah, bought what number you do? tickets. What can you do? That's yeah, the thing. The thing is, what can, can you do? What can you do? I can't do anything. Look at that. Nas is, is performing there, too. Yeah. Look at me. Can you get pairs of tickets for Nas? Well, you're there 8 and 10.30. So I it, am. got two shows. Two yeah. shows. So maybe maybe the late show. Try both shows. Yeah, no, it, it's all... Oh, there you go. We got a few left for the late show. Okay. In yeah. different price categories. Yeah, so come to the late, the yeah. late show. Try it's the late a, show. It's the, whatever, Fox Theater, Grand Cedar Showroom, whatever. When, okay. did, when did you get back to being able to do stand-up regularly? I, I went back as soon as, you know, like the, the thing is with me with the COVID and all that stuff, it's like, I get it. I got the vaccine and all that, whatever, but I just don't care. I'm like, we're all going to die anyway. Right. So it's like, I, I just so don't. So if you can give as many people COVID on your way yeah, down Yeah, I don't you. care. And it's like, yeah. you know what? I mean, dude, if you get COVID, you know, it's like, well, what do you want me to tell you? Like, right. Don't you talk into <laughs> microphones? Yeah. It's like, stop being like everyone, please just stop being absolute pussies about everything. Yeah, Colin had it recently. And I, I had been on after him both nights. Talking into the mic, yeah. talking to him. I didn't get it. Like, no. and he was fine, Colin. Right? I mean, yeah, he got the so. vaccine. I mean, I, I don't know, dude. I'm kind of at. I'm like so over it all. I'm, but I started coming out right away, doing shows because I was kind of yeah. like my own family was like, you know, my girl. They were. She was like, just go. Like, yeah, no, it's good, time. Just go. Yeah, just get, get out there and go. I was like, okay. Yeah. So we went. Um and uh yeah I mean the outdoor shows and all that stuff I I did all that I did the parking lot shows bombed on HBO Max for yeah, Colin it seemed like they were not they were not oh, fair to you dude just a fucking <laughs> nice fat one right <laughs> right Rich Boss opened you know the show you know didn't tell them anything that was happening mm -hmm. and, and you know just just was doing jokes like yeah I don't know I forgot what he was saying brought me up fucked my name up and then I just really ate a fat turd because he didn't he didn't inform the audience how 
how to react to anything? No, it was, all, it was ultimately my fault. It was just funny to just, you know, really bomb blame. and just have Colin and Bobby Kelly yeah. and all these guys and Keith just have to walk back and just really let them an annihilate me. And then you're probably thinking, I wonder if they'll sweeten it up for HBO. They Maybe didn't. They, no, no, they didn't. No, they Colin, didn't. Is, he doesn't like that. No, no, no. no. Well, not only did they not sweeten it, they showed the aftermath as yeah. well. Of me saying how bad I bombed. Yeah, you know? and then yeah. them all agreeing. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was one of those things where I was like, eh, you know? What can you do? I was walking off like, this is brutal. <laughs> <laughs> How much time did you do? A seven, you know, whatever I was supposed to do, seven, yeah. eight minutes. So it's not, it wasn't like you have to sit in it for that long. But the, the, the thing was, is that, I mean, you know, everybody killed after me. That's yeah. a long seven minutes. Everybody was killing. <laughs> right. I mean, really, like cars were going crazy. You could hear the thunderous laughter. I was like, oh, God, I was just sitting there <laughs> eating Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah. You're sitting there like after your set going, because you were early, going, yeah. ah, it's going to be a rough night for you all. Yeah. And you're like, no, yeah. not at all. Is actually. there anything worse than eating a dick and then fucking everyone else kills? And you're like, oh, God, it was me. It was because, and it was, that's the thing. It just, it just was. But, you know, what can you do? What are you doing? Funny. Watch it. It's hilarious. I had a great time watching it. And you were hilarious. It's just the wrong... Sure, you know, they weren't laughing. It's the wrong scenario. Yeah, yeah. it was... It's the, and maybe they were laughing. We don't know. They were in their cars. It was COVID. It was COVID. For God's sakes. Yeah. yeah. Now, what do you do to, to, to mellow out a little bit? Because mm -hmm. I feel like you just, you, you just move at such a breakneck pace. Right. You understand, like, I feel like here in this conversation, we're going so fast. Chrissy Chaos is so fast. Hey, babes, is so fast. Everything is fast, 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 fast. Yeah, I, I feel know. Like, yeah. what do you do... What do you do to mellow? Because <sighs> I can't imagine TT Jerry helps you mellow. No, 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 no. are you kidding me? Mm -mm. Especially when she starts cleaning the house in, in little boom boom shorts. Oh, forget sure. it. It's blood's flowing. Yeah, um, no, I get that. What do I do? I got a swing. I sit outside on my swing. You do. I got a little porch swing. That's nice. So I sit outside on that. That's I nice. go for walks. You How do. long can you sit on the swing for before you're like, what the fuck? I'm just doing this to do it. Well, I sit on there with my four month old. Oh, so, so she, so she's actually the one that really relaxes me. My four month old relaxes me a lot. Um, so the, I do that. I've been trying to do um, a little bit of yoga. Ooh. I've been trying to do that. I've been doing it once a week, but the first day I did it, I pinched a nerve in my neck. I'm sorry, which is not good. Yeah. Um, do you like yoga? I, I. I don't like it necessarily, but my body's reached that point and or maybe my mind where I'm like, if I don't do it, I'm going to like really like debilitate myself. So I do that. Um, and uh, and yeah, no, to be honest, though, I don't really turn my mind off yeah. enough. Yeah. So but now I feel like I'm starting to like the, the podcasts are starting to get to the point where they're running themselves a little bit and we mm. show up and, you know, as long as we give them a good show and the tickets are starting to come in. So I'm just trying to enjoy this until it just inevitably starts to go the other way. How right. many days a week do you tape? Do you do all of them in one day or will you spread them out? To Chrissy Chaos, when we do every week, we may, I, I, don't, I try not to get too far ahead. Sure. I want it to be like, Fresh, you know, as yeah. current, but with Sal Volcano's schedule with Hey Baby, you know, he's working so much in Practical Jokers, we bank like four, we'll do like four in a day or- Do you change three. outfits? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I at least change shirts. Yeah. You know, and then and then we typically get it like that. Um, but then I do my Patreon episodes too for Chrissy Chaos every Friday. So I'm always, I'm doing at minimum three podcasts a week. But, oh, yeah. and people are like, oh, that's a lot. But it's like, you guys, that's what you've done for your whole careers. Yeah. It's every single day doing it. So it's like, it's really not a lot. Yeah. It's not. You were doing three, four hours a day every single day. So I'm like, I can do three podcasts from my house for an hour. <laughs> but it feels longer you know? to do three podcasts for some. I, I don't know why. Maybe because there's a beginning and like, this is just you're just talking for three hours. Well, also, too, I think, you know, there's there's one of those things where like you guys have, you know, it's a whole staff here that people doing prep work, pulling up articles. Our podcast is just me and the homeless pimp do yeah. everything. I mean, homeless pimp really does everything, everything. And he's just like, this is what we're going to talk about. And then I'm my job really is to just, you know be silly and as funny and whatever as we sure. can but but it's just like it, it it's a lot of like um there's no like head of the company i'm yeah. me and him are the heads of the company that's the company you know so it's like if there's no nobody's making us do anything so maybe there's that added pressure but the patreon is you know there's a lot of we the patreon is what i would say i put like everything into because yeah. you just i don't know i just feel like in the culture world we live in like i don't have to edit myself even on Chrissy Chaos sometimes I say things that are like what even pimps like yikes right. I can't say that <laughs> Where? but the Patreon is like whatever because it's I mean people are paying their own yep. money they want they don't want to hear you better not ever bleep or edit anything out of a Patreon and they, they don't generally want... won't pull your clips and like try to fuck you over anyway do you know what a loser you'd have to be to post a Patreon thing and then it's also I feel like it kind of 
washes it away because like wait a second you paid for this content you paid it's not genuine it's like yeah. you didn't just stumble upon this you're right. an, you're a, you're a loser yeah you're pulling this on a pay service yeah know. i feel like that wouldn't even gain traction because yeah. they'd be like that's no no i think that's right so but um but yeah between the podcast and the stand-up it's a lot of it's a lot of work but i'm trying to get it to where you know i, I like that i do the podcast from home and my stand-up now more and more i mean i still you know last weekend in nashville i had to do seven shows boston i got eight shows and so there's still some of that but more and more i'm trying to move to where it's like one show at a theater each night and then you know get back to my kids and you know just be done with work by nine o'clock at night you know mm -hmm. like even though i'm only 37 it's like the thought of being on stage still at midnight or going out at yeah. 1 a.m i'm like i can't do this anymore like yeah. i've already tapped out i'm like i gotta be done by nine and just go theater know. shows are so much better there's no fucking no uh no check spot none no. of that shit is there anything worse when you're doing something and you and you thought they're gonna not do checks and you see them coming out and hand it out? it's like oh uh, i yeah. can't say anything because i seem like a cunt yeah but it's like, I know sometimes people, you know, that's why the feature spot for people that know it's stand up, that's the sweetest spot in comedy because you got yeah. the MC goes up, they have to start the show cold. Then the feature goes up and does 20 minutes and they have 100% of the audience attention. Yep. 100%. Then I come up, they're excited for a little bit, whatever. And then 20 minutes into my set, when I have them and I can really start stepping on the gas, the entire audience gets divided because they drop the checks and then people get pissed off that it was $12 for a beer. Yeah. And then I lose them for 20 minutes minutes and then at the end i have to get him back with a closer and that's why sometimes people be like oh the feature you know they were better than you it's like no asshole they didn't have the whole audience divided and maybe yeah. they do write better jokes i don't know could be better too yeah, yeah. you have good features it's why I do. <laughs> hey i'm not scared to have a good feature a diverse feature yeah Mid middling i called it it's middling too yeah. oh it is the that's the best oh, yeah fuck you, you can hammer for 30 minutes you know just do your time and, and again the, the, their pay hasn't changed though since the 90s it was 150 <laughs> dollars in 1990 it's yeah, still 150 probably right i you know it's on the headliner to give them more money uh -huh. you know which obviously you know we always do but but it's like damn dude talk about like that they, i don't know why like comedians don't have a union and go on strike they I mean, tried it years ago i remember there was a comedian's union they talked about and it just <clears> didn't because again so much of it is based on how you draw so for a union, it would be like, ah, how come you're not paying me the same as him? It just yeah, didn't go anywhere. Can't. I know. So yeah. much of it's based on, you know. Yeah, yeah, ticket sales. Yeah, yeah. it's all it's all about it's all about ticket sales. What are the what what are the age differences in the or the age difference in the kids? I have an 11 year old stepson, a six year old daughter, and then a four month old daughter. How is the six year old dealing with not being the baby anymore? She's she's pretty. She's okay with it. She's, you know, they both, the 11 year old and six year old really help out a lot with my four month old. And, um, she, my six year old daughter, she, you know, she has like a bag of stuff. She's like, you can give this to Violet, but not this. Gotcha. You know, like she's like, I don't want, she gave her, and, and listen to me in some of that, in, in that bag, she has a few American girl dolls. I realized my daughter, I mean, I thought, you know, American girl dolls, which are extremely expensive. I thought this was going to be the thing. I mean, she doesn't care about them at all. Right, so you paid all this money going yeah. like, oh, this will be the doll that you have forever. She couldn't care. She gave it. She put it in a She's garbage six. bag. She doesn't my, care. She gave, put it in a garbage bag from my four-month-old daughter immediately. Immediately. But my daughter, uh, you know, there's like little things that she pops. Like there's this thing, like this sensory thing. She does that. I think they're the called rubber popper. Th the rubber thing? Yeah, no, no, no. But Are it's like plastic? a game. Yeah, yeah oh. but, no, but it's like a game. It's yeah. like all different colors. She pops and she yeah, says, yeah, yeah. you know, Violet. Violet can't have those. So I was like, okay. She likes those. She likes those. But they're fairly is, inexpensive. You could probably grab another one. Uh, yeah, I'm probably, yeah, that's fine. Just grab a second one. It's interesting, too, because uh, uh, Delilah, she looks, you know, like you can tell she's like a little ethnic. She mostly looks white, but you can tell there's some Latina. And then Violet looks like a small Chinese man. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm like, I don't know how Violet looks like a small, balding Chinese man. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, this is an interesting looking baby. She's beautiful. But even Jazz was like, does she look like a Chinese man to you? I was like, at some angles, yes, which I guess is good, man. That's going to be complicated. Five, five years, basically, more or less in between three kids so they're never going to be like best friends because there's going to be a whole generation in between yeah but also every time one gets to be like 18 and you're like okay i'm done you got a 12 year old waiting for you over yeah. here like ah, it was fuck. to be honest with you being out of diapers and i know a lot of uh, 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 other people actually my next door neighbors who, oh, who live across the street Listen to this 46 years old they, they're 40 he's 46 now he's got five kids he had his first kid at 41. They had him and his wife, first kid, first children at 41. They had, uh, I think, a daughter, 41. Then they had 
got pregnant again a uh, year, year and a half later, had a, you know, quick, had a second one. Okay. Then accidentally pregnant out of nowhere, fucking triplets. So they got oh. five kids under five and under, wow. and they're 46 years old. So when I think about having to go back into diapers, I just look at my neighbors across the street, and I'm like, they're going to abs- there's going to be a murder suicide in that Definitely. house. Definitely. Where- yeah. Last time, years ago, I guess the last time I went to Disney, I, like we got on the monorail with somebody, and it was like, these older ish people, but not that old with their adult kid. Like they probably had like a 20 year old daughter. Right. So they were probably like 50 or, you know, right. whatever. And so they got on, they were like, Oh yeah, we're just, uh, we're here celebrating, you know, our adult daughter, blah, blah, blah. And then this little baby. And I think my wife was like, Oh, is that your grandbaby? And they were like, no, <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> they fucked up. Oh. They fucked up. They got their kid uh... to adulthood and then oh. they fucked up and had another baby. Dude. My mom is the sweetest woman like of all time and i i'm so happy that i like witnessed this this was right before the pandemic maybe a couple months before i went to the movies with Mm. my mom and that's nice yeah yeah, that's very nice went to go see a nice movie that's nice and she goes and there was a woman like at online for popcorn and she says to her she looked pregnant. She legitimately looked pregnant. She goes, oh, congratulations on the oh. baby. And the woman goes, I'm not pregnant. Oh. And then started talking, like berating, not berating, but she goes, do you really think I look pregnant, lady? That's a little rude of you to assume that I'm looking pregnant. My mom was like, I'm very sorry, but you do, like you looked pregnant and maybe it's your shirt. I apologize. I, I didn't mean any disrespect. And she was like, you should really check yourself and blah, 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 blah. And then my mom just like snapped. She goes, maybe you shouldn't be online for popcorn then, bitch. And I no. was like, whoa, no, mom, I swear to God. Mom, this must be a nice afternoon. I swear to God. I was like, mom. I was like, mom. And then my mom, it was one of those things where then my mom just started talking. stuff. She's like, I can't just believe these people. I mean, you just talk to anybody, whatever way you want these days. And I was like, Jesus. And then my mom apologized to me for hours after the movie. The whole next day, she's like, I am so sorry. Sorry for using that language in front of you, honey. But you know, she's really just really was a mean lady to me. Well, you, I mean, your your mom, I think, was in the wrong. She was. You're not supposed to ask a lady if they're pregnant. Yeah. I mean, in fairness, though, it's she like did look pregnant. Did this woman have like a liver? She looked like a bloated. Me- I mean, she looked pregnant. It's like if you're not pregnant, lady, your liver is on fire. Or I mean, are you? What are you doing? Plus the fact that that lady was that mad about it. It's means, not. It's not the first time. No, it happens to her daily. <laughs> or she thinks. It, or she thinks it every morning when she showers. Yeah. She's like you fat bitch, you look pregnant, and then some confirms it. And she's like, oh fuck. But it wasn't even fat. I mean, she was she's somewhat just, over it. No, she must have some condition, right. with Some like bloated condition, which they have that. Uh, there's also a woman who walks around the uh, Little Italy, or at least used to, who had a fake pregnancy belly on and she would go around asking for money for a baby but then you would see her take it off her yeah. belly because I was going to go give I was with the great Mike Cannon who's oh, was on Mike the show Cannon, I was sure. going to give her a dollar and the guy behind the pizzeria they said don't give her money that's fake wow. she comes in all the time that's fake did she like, hear him tell you that yeah yeah and then, and then you know he was like get out of here <laughs> scram <No. laughs> yeah, fake belly <laughs> fake belly <laughs> I gotta piss yeah why don't oh. we take a break uh, you're hanging right you're hanging I'll hang yeah I gotta leave at 10 30 to go do bar stool Ah, I told Roland. No, yeah, that's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, we're not mad at you. No, shout out Roland. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta out. be on barstool at eleven. <laughs> shout out or to ten forty-five. Whatever it is. Oh, All right, okay. so we'll take a little break, Ski. You're quick you can, one, yeah. You can uh, get pre-sale tickets. Sal Volcano, yes. Chris Stefano, a night of stand-up comedy, comma. Babes. Mm-hmm. Right now, <laughs> ChristyComedy.com. They're coming to Durham and Grand Prairie and San Antonio and St. Louis and Columbus, Ohio. And of course, Chrissy D, all on his own, is going to be Foxwoods if you want to go by yourself. Yes. On yeah. Friday. Uh, Saturday. Don't listen Saturday. to Travis. He's I looked at the Saturday. sheet. It's highlighted and everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, you yeah, see, this is why. Like you're like, oh, all we got is homeless pimp. We have to deal with Travis. Yeah, Travis. Travis is your homeless exactly. pimp. No, he's a he's a he's a homeless simp. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen we've seen the way the Are You Garbage podcast producer is, how homeless yeah. pimp producer is. Trust me, yes. they're in much better hands. Yes. yes. You can also see Chris at Wise Guys in Salt Lake City, November fourth. Great to fucking the sixth. club. That Wilbur is. in Boston, November twenty first. Uh, then back to Newark at the end of November. Chris D. Yeah, fuck comedy. the Newark one. Fuck that one. Just go to go to go to Boston. Yeah, yeah go to Boston go on to November twenty first. Yeah. yeah, and, and then, the Taft Theater in Cincinnati, New Year's Eve. Not probably don't, 
the city I chose for New Year's Eve. But that's going to be a great. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a great time. A great night, yeah. 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 And then save the date, February fifth. I got big New York news coming up. It's going to go on sale in a couple of weeks. Oh. Big news, Trump voice. So you have to come back for it. February fifth. Yeah, forget Newark. Come February fifth. I mean, New York. Uh, I think is already almost sold out. I mean, I'm, I got a shit deal. Uh, ChristyComedy.com. Yeah. yeah. Jim's you, about to take a shit deal. What's that? Take a shit. No, I'm going to just stand. I'm gonna be in, I'll be in Philly, not this weekend, but next weekend, uh, 28, 29, 30 in uh, whatever the fuck, uh, Helium Comedy Club in Philly. All right. Oh, Helium's the best. It is a great yeah. room, right? Awesome. Yes. We'll be right back. Stay there. Really a funny Thank stand, you, man. Honestly. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hey, are you guys down with the, with the Island Boys? Oh, my God. That was, those guys are insane. They're the best. That's Who are great. They? It's my new favorite band. Oh, yeah, have you seen these? These, no. it's cra- the To shit. be honest, you want to hate on them, but I'm nah. like, I've just watched this. I've watched this video a thousand times. I'm like, I kind of like it. It's a good song. Yeah, it's nice to see. Yeah, our mental health in this country is. is oh, those guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. Uh, American guys. Are they from like New Zealand? They're from the island. Oh, what island? Staten. Ah, yeah, Long. I think, Long. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rikers, uh, Plum. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, You got to check out this song. It's uh, If you just uh, search Island Boys, it's a couple of guys, and they're sitting in a pool. Uh, they got a lot of tattoos. Are they singers a- that are just, like, down for whatever, you know? Let's hear a little bit, because I saw them. I didn't watch. Oh, I they're really- great. Because I'm an island boy, and I've been trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Plum research. <laughs> How charming. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they're just a couple of... Uh, uh, they're trying to make it to the top. I love it, dude. We'll be built at a live show when you see these two with their ridiculous hair and all their face tattoos, oh, and you know what's coming, dude. and they're hitting this song you never heard, and this song you never heard, and then all of a sudden... Yeah. And I guarantee you they're going to start selling shows out all over the country yeah. soon. I guarantee you they're going to get scooped up. Do you yeah. know the anticipation that we just hear... Um. Un. And then the whole audience goes, Island Dude, Boys. literally, me having the Island Boys open for me is the only way to sell the single seats at Fox <laughs> <laughs> All I can think of watching this is how fat I would look in the pool next to those guys. <laughs> how unsightly I would be. Yeah, you uh, wonder, I feel disgusting, too. You wonder, though, like, because they don't seem like they give a fuck. Right. Right? Because they're the Island Boys. But do they watch what they eat or do they just have good metabolism? No, I think they're sixteen-year-old kids. So that helps. Uh-huh. I think they're just they're just young, young kids. guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, dude, I feel I feel like See, disgusting. If you look at his photo there, yeah, click that. You oh, can it looks see like an albatross. It. Yeah, and there's like a there's like a <laughs> he uh, does his hairline, you know, and like kid gets a lot of pussy. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, women like girls oh, like him, high school girls, whatever. Yeah, of course he's an island boy. But who who is like who are they? Do they have island boys social media? Like who are they? I have found out about the island boys for the first time very I, very recently. I guarantee you, they're going to start opening up for humongous bands Definitely. just to do that song. Nas is going to have them at Foxwoods. He's going to scoop them right 100%. up under you. No, they don't even go into Foxwoods. They'll be in an arena oh, without yeah. a problem. 100%. They're One. the biggest act in music right now. Oh, what is that? Fly Soldier? Fly. What's their names? Looks like... Where Island... Yeah, we can't even find them. Come on, Travis. Yeah, Damn Fly it. Fly Soldier? Soldier Boy Tough. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're called... Uh, Fly soldier. Right. Cool. You know? Fly soldier. Fly soldier. All or maybe, right. maybe, yeah, maybe they're a fly soldier. Fly soldier. Like a soldier that's fly. <laughs> yeah. Like cool. Sure, that would be yeah. a soldier. But they have to be white. I mean, have to be fully white kids from California, right? Florida. Do you think they're from California? I think Florida. Oh, they're from Florida. I think Florida. Okay. I thought he said Florida. Well, they are, I think, Florida and Island? Because they are Island boys. They are. Let's yeah. listen to his speaking voice. I want to hear him talk, yeah. He's singing Island Boys. Now, these are real yeah, tattoos. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm an Island Boy. Oh, good. It's trying I- to make it. Shout out to all the lead players. Yeah, you know. He's doing yeah. that off the cuff? I'm a- That's pretty impressive. Yeah. They're doing promos, though, for something. Says the promos turn into raps now. We're the trending topic. Now you know. Do you get paid for being a trending topic? He's got a lot of money in his hand. Are they twins? Yeah. I don't know, but he's got a lot of money, which is probably earned rapping. 
White pants after Labor Day, big no no. Yeah, yeah, that generally is. So For little, us, I don't know on the island. Yeah, on the island, it's different. Island yeah. is different. Yeah. I'd yeah. love to have their waist size, nice thirty waist. Yeah, I'm, I'm right back up to teetering on a forty. Yeah, forty. Dude, I, I literally can't stop eating. I was at the cell. I ate two baskets of pretzels last night. I should uh, be shot. Is that the food that that's really like your your thing? The, the one, yeah, just yeah. pretzels. Yeah, Everything else, oh, your the rest of your diet's good. I don't eat pizza. I don't eat fucking cake. But you put pretzels in front of me, and I can't stop. You Damn like pretzels. My lips are all dumb and dry. A little mustard? Yeah. 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 You put mustard on cold, pre- like hard pretzels? I did. That's I, awesome. I put mustard on eggs, everything. I never even thought to do that. It's Mustard's amazing. a good condiment. A, a trainer told me once, if you have mustard, salmon, and uh, I'm sorry, no, mustard, beets, and pomegranate juice in your diet every day, that's what you need. So yeah, you beets a, are good. You get a 40 waist? <laughs> no, he's Jack. His name's Brooklyn Tank. Oh. Take a look at this guy. <laughs> Brooklyn what? Brooklyn Whoa. Tank. So, yeah, you have to be in good shape if that's your name. No, no, he's, I mean, he's he's one of those guys, not only is he in good shape and jacked and shredded, but he's flexible and he's just one of those guys, like, oh, yeah, when yeah, I'm having, yeah. like, my real fat days, I look at him and just, I mean, it really makes me feel Is he a friend of yours? Or is he oh, a friend, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, look, you know. Oh, my God. You go, in the, you, you go in the parks in Bay Ridge and you see him doing, I mean, he just, he only works out outside. Just effortless. He effortless has amazing too. upper body strength. He's doing these things where he's doing kind of like uh, dips, dips, but with his forearm strength. Yeah, it's just, and then you see him do this. I mean, I, he'll do 50 pull-ups with these chains on him. He's doing those get-ups, too. But he's one of those guys, even when we were teenagers, he was always jacked into fitness. But I mean, there's into fitness, and then there's the ability yeah. to do like this watching him do those. Stuff. And this, he's one of those guys. Like I can confirm. Well, I yeah, mean, I'm crazy. not with him every second of the day, but this is all natural. Like this is just literally treating your body like a machine. Well, even if he's doing steroids or whatever, you still it still takes a lot of work to. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you can't just he's take not. steroids and move your body weight around. Like he's got that. a heavy fucking chain on. Yeah, yeah. I, I tried to work out with him a couple of times, and it, it did not go well. No, is he good to work out with, or is he ridiculing? No, you? no, he's actually the best. Like he would, he would be like, like I remember one time we were in like this really packed workout class, and there was like hot girls everywhere, and like you know, like he, I was like struggling, and he just like whispered to me, he was like, just put your knee on the floor, like to like help me like adjust, you know, like what I was doing. He was like, just put your knee on the floor. Wow, yeah, like, just a nice guy. Yeah, the, the, De Blasio didn't help you out like that. De Blasio would not help me out no, like that. He, sucks. De Blasio said, put both knees on the floor and wait for a special interest group to stand in front of. You then open your mouth. Well, we're getting blow job here. Joke. Yeah, I <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, there's guys that do those prison videos. Holy shit. He's doing like, gym- like gymnast stuff. Yeah. And what's hard about that is he was wow. saying is the water, you have the goal is to keep the water in the middle of the thing, you know, which is like all core and balance. And wow. But the thing is, is like, fuck you, that. Yeah, dude, I have, I have, I'm kind of just give, I used to be like, I want to try to get ripped. I want to, but now it's like I've given up on all that. Good. I just want to fit into my clothes because I'm like, I can't. I would never in my life be able to look like that. I have such, like, so, I have, like, excess body fat all why, over my body. Why don't you get strongman big? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just what, get big. No like, cardio, just lifting No cardio, shit. lifting. Don't worry about definition. Yeah. You know don't worry I mean? about any just, of that. Just, like, you look like a barrel, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you can just lift anything. That's uh, insane to me. It. What he's doing right now with, like, with the yeah. holding your body out by your forearm straight. No, no, you have to understand, like, core. you would fall, I would fall immediately on the first one. I mean, yeah. yeah. And he could do 20, you know, these guys. Plus, those bars might be hot because they're in the sun. It's metal. He doesn't care. He doesn't I don't care need at to all, be right? in his shape, though. I just want to not be oh, a fucking good. pudding tits. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't need to be Brooklyn Tank. I'm just tired of being mush Jim. When did you, when did you get mush? Oh, because you weren't mushy. Oh, before no, the in pandemic. the last year I put on like eighteen pounds. But it I'm, doesn't look bad. Oh, thank you. No, because I mean, you used to be. You still at your worst was what thirty, forty pounds heavier than I this. I was wor- way worse. Yeah, than dude. This. So eighteen pounds. I mean, that's fine. I just say I hate how it looks. No, I, I hate it. No, I hate it too. I, I, I am. I'm not that fat now. Where like when I take off, like I'm sitting like this, and when I take off my shirt tonight, I'll have like red marks. <laughs> <laughs> like I wore a bra, but it's just my fat rolls just bunching up on each other. Dude, is there anything worse than when you're sitting and you feel your stomach? On your thighs Ugh. when you're leaning forward. It's a terrible feeling. I hate it. I hate it. And it's the thing is, too, it's like, you know, women really don't care. You're getting mm-hmm. in shape for other guys. Women don't care at all. They couldn't care less about what or, you look or like. Or for yourself. Or for yourself. Women do care a little, though, because if they had to fuck me or Brooklyn Tank, I could tell you whose line would be longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you never know. Some no now there's like a movement like women don't want guys with abs they were like you know it's all about being like perfectly not perfect they're lying yeah, they're, they're lying. fucking lying I know. I know they're trying to sound like they're uh, they're 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 deeper than that but they're not fucking a guy with no abs over a guy like that ever. Uh, that's true 
Yeah. He exercises in a But my brain will like convince me. It'd be like, oh, he only looks like that because he's tan. You're not tan, Chris. That's why you don't yeah. look like that. Yeah, just go to the tanning salon. <laughs> yeah, then, then you'll look like that. No, just an absolute, absolute machine. Works out every day. Just, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, just constantly working out. Do you ever guy. see those prison, those ex convict? They do like the prison workouts yes. outside. Those guys are fucking animals. I mean, animals. they do the same shit he's doing. It's- yep. Yep. But it's like a guy like a TT Jerry we were talking about before. He's not like in the best. She's in pretty decent shape. But I mean, when scars all over her body like i don't even i don't even put my security system on when she stays over because it's like if you broke into the house Mm -hmm. and you met dealt with tt i mean you would you would be fucking murdered right there yeah how much time did she do 25 years oh yeah that's real time and being trans there's no way you're you're not tough she cut somebody's eye out and i mean the stories were when she first time she came on the podcast we were like what she cut, you know, stabbed somebody's eye out. I told, I said on the pot, she blew the son of Sam. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right, that was a big one. Um, Ronald DeFeo Jr., the Amityville Horror House. She used to send, she used to let him uh, jerk off to, she would She would give him a mirror and he could look at the mirror and she would like, you know, finger her asshole and shit and he would jerk off. She, and she'd make him dinner. She was his cook. Like she was, oh, a, wow. it was like his little, she would always make food. She's a really good cook. She's just sitting there with a sure. finger in singing Island yeah. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Island DeFeo's Boys. Jerking off. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. She was just telling us all like the ingenious ways that like they make stuff and do stuff and you know she was like it's interesting like how much her brain opened up when you, you know you does, like, when you talk to her does it make it seem more likely that you could hang in prison or less likely less likely her advice to me was if i ever got told if i ever was going to prison to immediately say that i was trans she was like you should say that you're trans because they'll put you in a ward with a lot less people and it's more people transitioning or and they're a lot of them don't want to fight because a lot of guys are on estrogen so they're like their tempers oh. are going down. He was like, she's like, there's no way for them to tell you you're not. So, so yeah. So, so her advice for you was to get into the trans Go section. Go say you're trans yeah. immediately and they'll yeah. put you in an easier section to deal with. I already have the tits. They believe it. They probably look at me and go, you trans? I go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. She would, all the shit she used to boof. I mean, like just stuff. You boof just, is when you put the sh- things in your ass yeah, to yeah. get, uh, yeah, she told us crazy stories, but an amazing person. Yeah, prisoners really are. There's a genius to the way they make things that they can't get in jail. The way they cook and the way they they can just make little Wait, treats. Have anything, a hot plate, wine, hot plate. Hot she plate. would make uh, you know all different types of foods. You know what's interesting about her? A lot is it, yeah. well everything, but just being near her all the time is the things that we take for granted, like, you know, getting pissed off about, you know, eat, like, oh, I got the middle seat on a plane. Like, none of that. She's like, all I want is to be free. So as long as I'm free. and Like, you know, when people say, you know, oh, you know, you don't appreciate life. There's kids, you know, who don't have food. There's kids that have no arms. Like, and we're like, ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. She really is a person who, like, ne- everything is amazing to her. Right. Just because walking down the block is amazing. Years is a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. She was like, I never time. thought I was, she said, I thought the judge was never going to let me out. She was like, or I thought What'd she I would do to get in, in prison. She went in jail at a time when like you would get like 15 years. She said she served time with a guy who got 35 years, must still be in prison for selling a nickel bag of weed. Wow. Like, was it a third offense or something? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. No, it's just the, the rule laws were ridiculous in the 80s and 90s. Now she was like, you could literally kill 10 people and you'll be out on a weekend because mm-hmm. no, they don't want to put anybody in prison. But she, and then what happened when she said is she went in for like, you know, um, theft and grand larceny and, and things like that because she was addicted to drugs. It was all like when she was on crystal meth and stuff or crack. Wow. And then she would say, and then while she was in prison, she was like, you know, I was getting persecuted all the time for being trans. So I had to fight and you know, stab the guy. She could slice the guy's dick off with a tuna can. So that'll get you a little bit more time in prison. Okay, what, what did he do to get his dick cut off? He would put his dick over the prison, oh, through the prison bars every day. And after a while, she just did not want to deal with it anymore. And he was like, you know, come suck this and whatever. Call her like, you know, names and stuff. Yeah. And then one day she had a can of tuna oh. and she just fucking sliced his dick right, or the tip of his dick right off. That's what happened. I, guess I mean, I feel like of, you that can't was the do end that of him quick. bothering her. He must have her. grabbed it and like. That's what she says. Wow. You know, she sliced it. I mean, maybe she was sharpening. I don't know. A tuna can. Tuna can. Yeah, Ooh. she she was. Cra- it was crazy too. She said one time she was like stab, like dying, like literally dying, stabbed multiple times with like a shiv, like bad, and they were airlifting her out of 
uh, Buffalo to get her to the hospital. Like she was literally dying. Mm -hmm. And she was like, that was probably one of my most favorite days in prison because I was like breathing fresh air and I could look out. I had a view in Niagara Falls. And I'm like, yeah, but you were you when you're in the helicopter. You know, she said another thing when I never even thought about. She goes, she had to be in solitary. She was in solitary confinement for two years where they have you just you alone. They bring you your food and they bring you your water. But there were a lot of times where like, you know, whatever, the guard was in a bad mood or she had done something and they wouldn't bring her food and water for like a day or two. Like she was like, all the rules that you hear about on Netflix documentaries and all that, it's like in prison, it's a different system. It's a different thing. She was like, there was this thing that you creep into her head. Like, what if they leave me here? Like your brain starts to convince you that you're never going to see another person again and yeah. no food, no water. Plus, she was you like, don't, you yeah. don't have access to any of your people. You're not getting visitors. So it's like, as far as you're concerned, they've all forgotten about yeah. you or who knows what she they're said being one time told. they put the, they turned the lights out for like five days and just would give her, the lights were out. For so five she, days? Five days. Jesus yeah. Christ. They would give her food and water once, you know, she was like, so there were times in that when she was like, you know, time when there's no light either. You don't know what time of day it is. You're like, did I eat today? What did I eat? I'm starving. You're trying to find the toilet. Shit and piss everywhere. You don't even know if it's been five days or how long it's been at all. You have no idea. So it's interesting to be around her when, like, you kind of start to not take the things for granted. Somebody appreciating, like, you're right, exactly. like, whether it's a middle seat or just going to the store. Like, weird little shit. Like, Traffic. after the pandemic, didn't you just go, like, I'll never take for granted that stores are open again. Yeah. Like, it's just nice to be able to go into a store. Just see people. Because for a year, there was nothing. See stuff on yeah. the shelves. Like, yeah, so it's it's not, you know, I've, I've been a lot more, I've been a lot more, uh, feel like, grateful for, for things in my life because of her. Does you she know? live with you? Not real. I mean, no, because her she has to live in, in a place that was approved by her parole officer, but mm. she gets permission from her parole officer. Like, she's coming today. She'll stay for three or four days. It's all got to be approved by the state. How long is she on parole for? Until next year sometime. But she's gotten to the point of her parole where as long as there's permission, like she came with me to my shows at Dania and like Fort Lauderdale area. Do people go nuts for oh her? Oh my God. Like literally, I filmed it. Like literally, like lost their fucking minds when she came on stage. So um, she's Can like- you imagine that life though for her? Like to go from, yeah. I'm locked in this room for five days. Nobody knows if I'm dead or alive. Like I'm never getting out of prison to- Going up on a stage and watching yeah. a sea of people. She like, told us she gets she she gets stopped and recognized every single day. And even Jasmine was like, "I was with TT when I was on the road in Nashville." She was like, "We went out to the mall." And she was like, "She was getting stopped like every fucking twenty minutes by people like, just yelling TT at her." What a crazy existence! What, is, what a crazy from completely hopeless to yeah. like holy shit! Not, yeah. This is not just a normal existence. People know who I am yeah. and they yeah. like me. Yeah, and she come and when she cut, dude, I gotta be honest. I you know I did my set. I brought her on at the end to do like a little like Q and A. She was fucking hilarious. Like if told she was funny real stories that the crowd was loving. If she went back to jail, there would be a free TT movement. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. She told us the day she left prison after like what because it was twenty five years, but it was all different prisons. But the day she left, like she said, the last five years for her was like pretty easy because she was older. The trans was more accepted. Like no, she was like they called her J Lo. Mm -hmm. She was like the she was like there was like heads of gangs, like you know the head of the Crips, the head of the Lion Kings. They would all have meetings, and she was the head of the trans. She was like I was the head of the trans gang. So so we would all meet, and she was like, but the correction officers were like crying when she left because she would make such an impact on isn't, them. Isn't it crazy how somebody after living through that can still be funny and like oh yeah enjoy things at all like there's not miserable yeah no that, but that's what being around her that's what starts to seep in to me where it's like don't worry about all these things all these problems are really fickle she would always be like oh you're healthy your kids are healthy your girl's healthy you have what what are you complaining about i'm like well there's only single seats left yeah, Fuck, you're not gonna sell. I'm not gonna get the bonus. Right. Yeah. I'm just the opposite. I only have single seats sold. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's an interesting. And you know, she comes on when she comes on the pod. It's it's funny, but she has real deep lessons. You know. But then she'll you know she'll tell us she'll cop to crimes, and I'm like, were you convicted of that? She's like, no. I'm like, can you please delete it, Pim? Yeah. Right. You know, because right. we're just joking. It's a yeah. parody. This yeah. is a parody. That's the only time I delete stuff on Chrissy Chaos is when she literally cops to like unsolved crimes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That thing that that was me. Okay, yeah. Right, never. Mind. Yeah. Mind. Did she say who had a bigger penis, son of Sam or Ronnie DeFeo? She said Ron DeFeo was like hot, hot. She 
said the thing with Ronald, she said Son of Sam was more like relaxed and reserved. And she was like, almost, I almost don't believe. It's interesting she said this, and then the documentary came out. She said, this was a year and a half ago before. She told us about the Son of Sam way before the podcast. It just took her a while to get her on. She was scared and nervous. She was like, I don't believe Son of Sam really killed all those people. And right. then the documentary comes out and says, oh, and when I told her to watch it, she was like, oh my God, on the Patreon, we did like a watch live. And she was like, oh my God, see, I told you. She said, DeFeo. She was like, there was something really sexy about him because she was like, he's truly fucking nuts. Right. She was like, you would talk to him and he'd be like, you know, how you doing, Ronnie? You know, she would call him Ronnie or whatever. She'd be like, how you doing? She'd be like, good. He'd be like, you know, just still wish I killed my grandma, but how are you? <laughs> would, she said he would say that daily because that's the only one he didn't kill. Yeah. But, but like, I fucking didn't get my grandma, man. That's the only thing I didn't get is my grandma. I Did didn't he really kill hate her. his family? Did he think he was doing them a favor? I think it was all d demonic uh, possession uh, stuff, but, yeah. but still to this, you know, while uh, he passed away now, but she was like he would say that all the time. Oh, I didn't kill my grandma. That sucks. Did she was in jail with Tupac in the late night. In, right, she get to at all? Like two months before he died, she was like he was. Uh, they were playing basketball. Um, I want to say it was Rikers Island. They were playing basketball, and everybody knew it was Tupac. And she was like, he did not. He uh, he was saying, you know, he didn't want to go back to jail. He wanted to be free. And, and listen, obviously, you have to take all these things with a grain of salt. Sure. I, there's no way for me to challenge T. Sure. But I I don't know why she would lie. You know, like yeah. right. She's like, she said one thing you learn in prison is you don't rat, like you don't rat on anything you never, ever, 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 ever rat. And, you know, always, she's always like, snitches get stitches. And she's like, and I always try to tell you the truth. I will always tell you the truth. She's like, unless I'm talking to the police, then I will not tell them the truth. <laughs> she said the exact quote on the show, and we left that in. See, yeah, I would yeah. tattle in jail. I would tattle. And yeah. I would if somebody tried to take my dessert, I would say, well, I'm going to go report this to the guard. Right. To, yeah. And then, we'll see, she said, that's another thing you could do. If you really wanted to survive prison, you could immediately ask, if you have the right lawyers, just to go into solitary confinement. That's another other way to survive you mm. will, obviously you can't get killed unless though she said a guard gets paid off and then lets the inmates into your cell that can happen plus you might go crazy too because you're by yourself all that it time. depends yeah. it, it just all it just all depends did Berkowitz confess he I don't, might have to some of them i don't remember yeah he, i think he did to some, yeah because he said the dog told him sure. yeah yeah he said she uh she said he gets at least in her prison like by far the most mail like anytime mail would come it was celebrity like, it was like everybody would get a, a letter a letter and then he would get like she was like a santa claus bag full of mail i wonder wow. if he reads them i guess in jail you have nothing else to you do you got nothing else to do but yeah. they but they let him they let all like you know once you get a certain amount of time in she said her her life is was relatively free in prison if you believe it or not like the cells wouldn't close at night she would just leave it open you could go yeah, walk around after a period of time you start to they like downgrade your security yeah clearance. you gain all yeah. these points like she was like at the last couple of years of her uh jail she would they would bring her into a town in buffalo and she would like work in a supermarket Wow. Oh, all yeah. right. So like, at least you're getting some air and Yeah, something. a few hours a day. Yeah, yeah, I knew a guy who had to do like seven years and he stood for bank robbery and he started in uh like super max, like this is where the violent offenders and murderers go. Right. And then by the end of it he was in minimum security. Yeah, because he's just a little, after a while, he's just like, oh, whatever. I gained privileges. I I, I was in jail. And um, yes, it was, we went in uh, back in uh, 2001. I'm it was you one are, night. Was you and Louis Black. Louis Black, yeah. And by 8 p.m., I had gained a few privileges that I didn't have at 6:30 <laughs> p.m. Yeah, was that scary, scary though? Still a little bit, terrifying. even for you, because you're hope you're helpless, and you know that even though it was a, a pretty con pretty mellow atmosphere because they're all going to see a judge, someone could kick the shit out of me, and there's nothing I could do about it. Right, the guards may not run over and help you. They don't want right. to. Yes, yeah, so these guys don't give a fuck. These and I did. The toilet was disgusting. There was no paper. I'm like, what am I going to do? Shit in front of 30 guys? Oh, yeah. terrifying. Well, Chris, you got to go do bar stool. We're keeping I, you. You're late. That's what I do, baby. Yeah, we're You're done late. anyway. So we're oh. wrapping up. Chris, thank Come you on, so baby. much, buddy. ChrisDComedy.com for all the dates, not only the solo dates, including <sighs> solo tickets this Saturday at uh, Foxwoods, but also a night of stand-up comedy, comma, babes. Thank you. <laughs> Sal Volcano and Chrissy D. You can go to ChrisDComedy.com. All those dates are up. T.T. Jerry. Now, who knows where she'll show up? She might. She, she saved might the date for February fifth. She's coming to that one in New York City. That's confirmed. I'm gonna get. I I, well, I guess. I think I'm gonna guess Radio City or Carnegie. That's my guess. You don't have to say it. No. I mean, if it's not. No, I, I, I will tell you this. It's neither. Okay, because ah. that's kind of like it's not really cool. Town to, Hall to guess a really really top venue. 
Like, there's no way if you're like, I bet it's Radio City, and he's like, well, I was excited about the venue, but no, it's yeah. whatever he's doing, he's selling. It could be any of those. A town Hall is a bunch but of great things. Like the two best theaters, just the two that came to mind. Sorry, it's not Radio City, man. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> And then where will you be, Jim? Now I feel bad. No, I'm joking. Oh, I'll be at the Philadelphia Helium Comedy Club, not this weekend, but the 28th, 29th, and 30th, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, next week. All right, awesome. Yes. We'll, we'll see you all tomorrow. Righto. Bye.